Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Game Masters right here on the GDQ Hotfix. I'm your host, Ant underscore TV, and SGDQ 2023 is coming up May 28th through June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So if you're interested in attending the event, registration is now open until May 3rd. So head on over to gamesdonequick.com for more info. Also, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. So please consider subscribing if you enjoy our daily speedrunning content. I'm here with the band of the hour, Revan, bringing us uh, another take on Majora's Mask Randomizer. So we've had you on a couple times in the past, you know, doing the combination randomizer miser with Ocarina of Time, uh, some speedier settings of Majora's Mask, but today, I've heard we've got something spicy in the mix. Uh, yes, quite quite a few uh, spicy things. I I, I, I probably there's too many things probably to list off the bat. I'm we're gonna do like some discovery of things as we go. Uh, but yes, spicy would be a good way to sum it up. <laughs> do you have like a, any any spoilers of some of the settings that we can expect to see? Uh, so. Spoilers would be that this is a fairy hunt, and a fairy what a fa oh, no. yes, yeah, what a fairy on, hunt, <laughs> what a fairy hunt is, is you're going and you're collecting the fairies to turn in at the fairy fountains to get the remains. Okay, yeah. um, for for this for this we're only having to collect ten total because there are two pre-completed dungeons. We have two dungeons just completely dead, and we have the remains at the start. So those fairies are not going to be anywhere. Those fairies. So, but they're still located within the dungeons themselves. No, they are anywhere. No, they're anywhere in the they're game. Anywhere. So there's 15 total. So you have two sets to complete, and they could be located literally anywhere. There is a there is a another little asterisk there. It's it's actually five per. So we're we're showing off. Me only having to collect ten total. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, Makes so sense. it's it's not all fifteen. Um, that is, where 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 this came from is this is this is on one point sixteen, which is maybe coming soon ish, and we're doing like some new stuff here. So one of the new things is that you can start with any you can start with any number of fairies, like so you can make the fairy hunts not fifteen to find for every remain. <laughs> Um, and that's, that's the one notable thing here is that, and then the starting with two remains and having two dungeons junked. The other thing I will spoil now, because, uh, it might, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. We have dungeon entrance rando on. Oh my so, goodness. <laughs> so I'm not going to know what dungeons are where, but there is some helpful, uh, like what, what remains I need to actually get, what fairy rewards, whatever. There is some help at the start of the seed that I will point out when we when we get there. And then on top of that, another new thing I will just spoil ahead of time too, that is Dun Dungeon ER has been in this random for a long while. Um, but the, the, the other new thing that I'm showing off, we got some other new things in here, uh, but one of the ones I'll spoil now is, is boss entrance rando as well. <laughs> yeah, it's very spicy. Very so spicy. that means, so like, not only are the dungeons shuffled amongst like the four dungeon locations, but what boss you fight at the end is also unknown. <laughs> yes. yes. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm excited yes. we get to see these like, like the way I understood, like literally brand new features like <laughs> that are just yeah. like, being worked on for today, yeah, uh -huh. essentially. So this is, this yeah, is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really amazing. It's really awesome. Uh, I was very happy to uh, find out that Zoe was completely down to let me uh, show all this stuff off um, and there's still a ton of other stuff that she's done that we're not showing off tonight but there's a lot of things in here that we're gonna be seeing that's like gonna wow and be very spicy and very funny so awesome um, awesome yeah. well I don't like I'm so excited to get this started so let's go ahead Revan whenever you are ready let's go find some fairies <laughs> okay so these are the two we start with uh, but it's not necessarily the fairies so that I need Ovala to collect. That and uh, twin mold, twin mold, yeah, yeah, twin mold. So that's the the first yeah. dungeon, the last dungeon in the game. But right, you may have to go up Stone Tower for one of those other dungeons, depending on how exactly, exactly. 
And, and the one really powerful thing about having two pre-completed dungeons in this that I found is that, technically speaking, because Stone Inverted Stone Tower Temple is the one that shuffled, uh, with two dungeons pre-completed, you kind of guarantee that, if you get it, I guess, I mean, it's a higher chance that you guarantee that the technically the second dungeon of Stone Tower Temple being the not flipped one is junk because the inverted one is junk, right? Um, oh, God. oh, yeah, of course. So, I didn't even consider so, those so being we'll, separate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll see how well, if okay, that happens. This also includes, like, the Pirate's Fortress area, does it not? No, it doesn't. Okay. It, it, it does not. It's just the four main dungeons. Four um, main dungeons, okay. And it's because Inverted has the blue warp, while in uninverted, uninverted does not, so that would cause issues if you shuffled Uninverted. So Uninverted is the flip, the non-flip dungeon is vanilla um, in Dungeon ER, because it doesn't have a blue warp. Um, okay. So if I have inverted junk, like if it's pre-completed for me, uh, then that flipped dungeon, that non-flipped dungeon, even though it's all the way up in Stone Tower area, uh, is going to be junked. If it's if it's not, then we we have an extra dungeon technically because it's uninverted, right? It's different requirements, etc. Might be confusing, but we'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure we'll understand we'll see what it eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I'm ready to go, uh, I guess I'll give the countdown then. Uh, yeah, give us a countdown. Alright, alright, three, two, one, let's go. And, uh, good luck. Yes, so, thank you. you. Know, there, for those of you who haven't seen Bajora's Mask Randomizer, there's been, like, a lot of quality of life updates. Uh, the first one is, you immediately start okay. exiting Clocktown as Link. So, these two fairies are dead. Uh, these two. That's how I find out. So this is another new feature. Uh, if you have Remain shuffled in any way, you can tell, you can talk to Tattle at the start and she'll tell you which two that you need to go get or which number you need to go get. Um, that's okay. another new feature. Uh, you have to actually talk to her with C up. Um, yeah, so you can, you can keep going. <laughs> Yeah, but you'll notice like the the game automatically starts you off uh, as Link, as if you completed the whole bomber sequence, just to like get us right into the action. I know, like very early on, like you start doing like the, literally the like second check you get, you do this fancy jump here that I just. Mm -hmm. There we uh, go. Second try. Yeah. Oh, and the, the of course, straw recoil. roof. <laughs> of course, the classic. So you'll also oh. see like gilded chests. So they have like a gold outline that tells you that it's like a unique item inside that. It, it may not be useful. Uh, there's a lot of junk in, in Majora's Mask Randomizer. There's masks right. that don't do anything. There's extra bottles, so, extra other stuff. We'll be back this is another thing that's new is you can have the long chest animations um, if you want. So that was something that Zoe wanted to show off. And uh, yeah. yeah, you can have that now. It's very right, funny. Again. The Mask of Truth. It, to my knowledge, it unlocks it one check in Lon Lon Ranch. Yes, that's correct. Just one check. One uh, and that fairy stays not shuffled because it would be a mess if it was shuffled. Because it's hard to tell what that fairy is. Like, because like it kind of has the same color as as the Stone Tower Temple fairies or the Snowhead fairies. It's very easy to mix them up. Uh, now another thing I, I can't help but notice. Uh, Link's magical clothes here. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> what, what's going on here? Is this a new thing or just the first time I'm seeing it? Uh, it is brand new. Uh, that's right. We've got Rainbow Tunic going on here for 1.16. Excellent. It, it's wonderful. Can, can we get your favorite rainbow themed emotes in chat, everybody? I want to see them. I love them so much. Okay, so uh, another thing is uh, we've got some s new static hints you can turn on. And what I just did right there was I talked to the bomb keep there, the bomb shop guy. Mm -hmm. And he tells me what the big bomb bag purchase is going to be, the, the one when I save bomb grandma. Um, so I now know that that check is, is going to be a bomb shoe. But potentially useful so I don't, there if you don't find yeah. other bombs. Actually, yeah, wait, exactly. are you allowed to use bomb shoes in this game if you don't have a bomb bag? No, you you need a bomb bag. Yep, so not too great on their own. No. <laughs> if I, some, for some reason, needed bomb shoes, I can always still just buy them from 
uh, the normal slot there. But yeah, that that basically, for all intents and purposes, is dead. Uh, not needed in this seed, the big bomb bag purchase. But ah, uh, shoot, now I messed that up. Anyway, uh, but I still will need to save old lady, aka I call her, I call her bomb grandma in uh, North Clock Town, <laughs> because. Uh, she has a check tied to her, and then there's also all night mask purchase, which uh, yeah. is a check that shows up on night three when you save her. And it's oh, okay, and it's wallet locked, uh, giant's wallet. Sometimes this happens with this. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's very finicky. Don't yeah, you worry. It happens. It. So. There's a lot of checks in this game. I think Majora's Mask is really known for the side quests, which like, for, for many, there myself included, is like the primary reason you love this game so much. Some of them are long, some of them are short, but in your mm -hmm. opinion, Revan, from your experience playing dozens and dozens, potentially hundreds of seeds here of Emma Rando, oh, wait. what you check do you dislike the most? What is like one check you see is like, oh my God, we have to do this. What's the worst oh, one? Let's see. The worst one... Well, I guess it's... Uh, honestly... I guess it's Goron Race. Because it's it's literally... it's Even though there is some skill involved in there, it is RNG. Um, because how the Gorons oh. rubber band. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I bet there's... you love seeing the Bomber's Notebook there, Revan. It's it's actually not the bomber's notebook. You you, you want to know what that is? Oh, hi, postman. Got a nice little fairy there. Uh, we need that fairy. Um, yeah, it's not actually the uh, bomber's notebook. It is the a ribbon from the notebook. Wait, what? Yeah, it is the ribbon from the notebook. What what does that do? That it does nothing, but it means that I have the ribbons from the notebook that you would normally get, like the notifications, if you have the notebook. Uh, those are shuffled. Oh. So when you talk to an NPC with the notebook, I will get an item. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Notebook per sense? Yeah. Uh, Revan, the, 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 the surprise is they just keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. There was something I did forget to peek because I messed up the jump slash, but we'll worry about it later. It's fine. Um, on the is, by is the this room. also a one point sixteen feature? Yes. Yes, it is. Is, is Zoe in chat? Can, can, can I ask? Ha, has Zoe gone too far? <laughs> <laughs> when? When does it stop? When does the rando stop getting more randomized? Yeah. Wow. Oh! Like right here, I know Anju does, like, ribbon stuff, but you don't have the notebook, so... You potentially have to go talk to other NPCs after you get the notebook for it to fill out. Correct. Uh, so the idea is that um, I have to reroute things, and that's what makes it really interesting. Uh, why I decided to say, hey, let's try and do this. There are more checks that don't require the notebook that are, like, freebies, but we did not turn those on for this because... It made Sphere Zero way too bloated um, and made the seeds longer. So uh, we just went with the ones that required the notebook to get the items. I also realized I made a mistake. I, I put in like a poll of which mask we're going to get first, the Zora, Goron, and Deku. It should have been a channel point bet. And I'm going to correct ah, my mistake. It, good it's, idea. It's Gamba time, everybody. It, it's Gamba. Yes, yes. Yes, please. Please don't um, find one within five minutes. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> But we're gonna yeah, I hope going. not. Get your points, and it's time. Yeah. So, so while 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 we were talking about the notebook stuff there, I did get letter to cafe from Anju at in reservation, which is very French vanilla and very funny. Um, so that's gonna be interesting when I get around to routing that. I'm not going to route it this cycle because I want to make sure with all night mass purchase, I don't need to get the giant's wallet. Um, so we're gonna probably put that off a bit, especially because with the notebook being a thing, um, I need to find out if that's required anyway, and we have the letter to cafe stuff as an always hit, because because of the fact that the notebook adds one extra check to that. Um, and I would need to know if that's required or not, so yeah. 
Oh my goodness, um, like... I don't even remember all the NPCs and when you get the the ribbon stuff. That, that's so ridiculous. Yes, yes it's going to be. It's. I told you, it's spicy. It's spicy. Um, you no, know, I expected it, spicy. I didn't expect like so, some some ghost pepper shenanigans going on here. <laughs> I was like, I was ready for like jalapeno or even habanero, but no, this may be too spicy. I, I think I'm beyond my tolerance. <laughs> yeah, so... So right now I'm generally doing what I like. I'm doing my opener of this uh, rando. I've been using this opener for a while, and this one works really well for the settings as well that we we ended up choosing anyway. Um, but there's several different openers you can do in MM Rando. Uh, this opener that I'm doing is is generally called like um, the. Uh, it's it's called the observatory opener generally. Like it's a bit of it's mm -hmm. it's not the exact same that is denoted as observatory opener. There's there's a little variation you can do with it where you do observatory first, then you go to grandma for the stories. But I do it that way. Uh, but the other two openers you can do are like the south opener where you go straight out from Termina Field after you get the stray ferry and laundry pool, and then the other one is a north opener where you just go straight up to North Clocktown first. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, d I do the variation here with Observatory, and I immediately go to night one, so that way I have, I route all my Terminal Field stuff at night, um, and it, it all flows pretty well, especially because we have to wait for Bomb Grandma. A big thing about MM Rando is routing your checks to where you're killing time until you need to get to something more time-based, like Bomb Grandma in this instance. So how do you, like, I guess there's a couple, you know, time-dependent checks out in Hyrule Field, like P-Hat Grotto. It's like, mm -hmm. how do you manage getting that? It's like, are you going to be hitting second day by the time you're roughly over there? And Yeah, there so go. so basically I end up looping up until, well, depending on how quick I get some things done here anyway, uh, I end up looping back up from uh, the south of Termina there to soar back here in time for Bomb Grandma, and then I'll end up finishing up whatever I need to do in Clocktown, and then I'll go out through the south of Clocktown and into the Piat Grotto, and I'll make it day two from there, oh, uh, is what I like do. Post-hat game without the, without the bunny hood. Good luck, Revan. Yeah, thank you. I actually use my live split timer to sync this as best as I can. Ooh, okay. That's fine. We have extra money. It's fine. Are there I waited less a little bit frames to get it correct when you're doing it without the bunny hood, or is it the same frames? Oh, uh, it's the same frames. It's the same frames. Um, also, keep in mind, I am playing on my actual N64. So, uh, okay. Got it. Second try. Happy wow. about that. That That is, e even with the reference... It could be quite difficult to do that, so GG. Yes, I, I have had it where I've had to do it like four times until I got it. Like, I don't always get it first or second try, but most of the time I do. It's definitely not consistent because it is a small window. I think the this mini game right here, Jump Slash in the Logs, is where I first realized how weird some of the changes are between like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask with respect to Z targeting. It's like they mm -hmm. change things just slightly enough with like either the time it takes for Link to turn or react whenever you Z target. It's like I, I like yeah. Z target something, Jump Slash too fast, and like I'm going behind or something. Yeah, you else. you always you always want to just wait a few set a few frames before you Jump mm -hmm. Slash. All right, first bottle. Okay. Yeah, they made like a back walking harder. <laughs> like you need to be yes. like so precise they, they, on that. So many just they, odd changes yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, they they for some reason changed the Z targeting and like they made it less lenient to back walk for some reason when you Z target. It's all really weird and messed up. Okay, Deku Palace Way of the Hero. Uh so in these settings, just like Blitz, I have five Way of the Heroes. Um I found that that ended up working out pretty well and helping a lot with these settings. Mm -hmm. So, um, five watt is just really nice. Uh, 
And then, other than that, like, the only other differences in terms of the hints is going to be just that the fact that we have always hints and sometimes hints. Sometimes hints refers to uh, hint locations that it's a group, of, a pool of locations you may not uh, get all the hints for. Um, whereas always you're going to get, you're always going to get these locations hinted to you. Uh, I'm going to play it safe here and not die. Um... Okay, yeah, we're gonna do... Uh, okay. So normally what, what you want to do is you want to do six jump slashes with the Kokiri Sword on both the Dongos, and you mash it out, but uh, unfortunately they're, they were kind of rude to me, so I couldn't do that. So, so I... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh... And these Dodongos help with the bank routing. Now, uh, just like the bomb bag purchase thing I peeked earlier with the hint, uh, that also um, is a... Uh, uh, what was I saying? Uh, the bank one, the bank 200, is also a static hint you can read. Uh, and so I know there's a red rupee on bank one right now. So bank one isn't very important to me, but I still have... Banks uh, 2 and 3, which is uh, the 500 and the 1,000. Okay. Conic Castle. Okay, this is interesting to talk about. Uh, so Foolish Accept Song generally means that I need, just I just need the song. It's just required um, for the seed. So at this point, because uh, we have... Um, let's see. So because we have... Uh, okay, so actually, yeah, so the song might just be required for, like, a dungeon or something, because I don't have something like Snowhead where the, okay, where the, um, the fairy reward is locked behind Goron Lullaby, for example, um, so I, so the, that song, Foolish Except Song, just means it's probably something for, like, one of the dungeons, there's probably just something inside a dungeon, um, but yeah, normally if if we had if we had to do, get snowhead fairies, um, then I would just end up uh, needing Goron Lullaby just to be able to turn in the fairies to get the remain there. But I don't have that here, um, thankfully. Uh, okay. Garo's mask. So because I messed up Dodongos, we're going to end up uh, not being able to go to South Termina uh, here, but that's okay. Is that just, like, time-based? Uh, yeah, because I'm at, I'm at 11.45. If I don't want to invert, then I need to be done here after the scrub. Okay, okay so Great Bay... So that means... Okay, so we have Great Bay Temple at... Um, at Woodfall Temple because... We have another new setting to talk about, and that is oh, no. the the dungeon items and the dungeon small keys are shuffled, but they're shuffled to the to to the region that that they're in, like near near the dungeon that they're tied to. So that <laughs> butler race being Great Bay Compass means that Great Bay Temple is at Woodfall Temple. Oh my goodness! God, there's there's yeah. so many new features here. Rather yes. Than for yes. Them. Yeah. And it helps me, because, like, I need to know that information. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that So I can nice, plan accordingly. Because yeah. otherwise okay, you're just so guessing another, off of items. Another random thing. So you already have Oldawa's remains. Does that mean the Woodfall area has nothing? Or the dungeon associated with Woodfall? Or is it only wherever Woodfall happens to be? <clears throat> So, so it doesn't mean anything at all. And like, so it means it means that Woodfall Temple is junked, and so if Woodfall Temple is at like uh, inverted Stone Tower Temple's entrance, for example, uh, which is probably the case right now, uh, it means that w just Woodfall Temple at that point is all that's junked from that, right? Okay. Um, it does not mean that like Woodfall is is junk or anything. Um, right, just just the dungeon itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that case. But if we had like, 
if we had wood pulp, if we had vanilla wood pulp temple, then it would mean all those checks, post dungeon checks afterwards, like butler race and vote archery, those would be dead. Um, likewise, if we had snowhead temple at uh, woodfall temple, uh, then we would. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, well, we would have. Um, and if and if that was said to be not required then Snowhead Temple would be junk, and so would the same, like, post-dungeon uh, checks uh, tied to Woodfall, or whatever. Since uh, Snowhead Temple is the dungeon at Woodfall Temple, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Ex explaining this all this is, like... It is, track of. it Chad, is, and it's around. a lot... I hope you're following along. It's a lot for me to explain, because, like, I, I was... You know, I, I've been playing with these settings for a few days, and it is it is a lot. I knew it was going to be a lot to explain. Um, I'm glad chat caught on to what I was doing there, but also it's actually <laughs> efficient what I did. Um, so, since since we know the letter to cafe, the checks tied to it are not needed, or, well, not not needed, but because I'm not doing it on this cycle, I'm going to use this as toilet paper, and this is logical because I have the room key right now. So, we're doing that. I do like how so many different things can be used as paper, though. If you're in this situation, if you find yourself, you know, sucked down a toilet, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you, you may just want to get out. That's not a safe place to be. There's so much, like, bacteria in there and bad stuff. And, you know, this guy's yeah. also just using regular, like, letter paper uh, as toilet paper. Also, not recommended. Uh, you're Definitely going to not. have a bad time. Definitely not recommended. Some may say it's better than nothing. I disagree. Yeah, so I will have to find out about the Letter to Cafe next cycle, which we will. We will. There is... there. So you know how you saw that fairy on Postman's head earlier? Yes, that was very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that is another new feature that I kind of glossed over. But basically, uh, there's a bunch of new, like, additional freestanding peaks like that. Uh, and Cafe is one of those, and I will show that when we when we get to him when when I, when I reset my cycle. Because the only time I can peek peek him for that stuff is uh, morning of day one at like 6 a.m. when he's coming out. Check the post box. So we'll see when we when we get there next cycle. Because um, I, I I saw the hint for the meeting him and and what Curio Man number two is, but I have no idea about the other two checks tied to him. Okay, Ice Arrows. Not junk, not a meme item in Majora's Mask. Nope. Very, very much a good thing. And and we do have Great Bay Temple as one of our dungeons that we're, we may have to go into. So they are going to be useful in this seed, instead of being, like, logically useful. Okay. Uh, so that not required bit means that I, I don't... At, at most, the, the item uh, is not needed for anything that's, like... That's like, you know, like a bow or something, or a bomb bag, right? Um, it, it, it could be for something like another bottle, but I already have a bottle, so I don't need need to turn in that mountain title deed for for anything that would be considered, uh, like, hard required, right? So, that no, that no just chat. helps with, like... I'm not talking with, like, about <laughs> letter paper as toilet paper. Even for the contents. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if I even should. So. <laughs> Back to the seed. Yeah. yeah. So, so that is not new to 1.16, like indi indicating whether something is needed or not in hints. Uh, that's something that's been in since 1.15. Uh, it's just that if you're familiar with blitz settings, that is not toggled on because really there's not that many like really long checks that can have ambiguous stuff on them that makes it really horrible if you have to go do it for something that you don't know if it's required or not. So, yeah. That's why uh, we have it on for this, because there we have something like Aliens and Kremia on, and thank goodness we don't have to do that today, because uh, that certainly leads to a pretty lengthy bit of extra time to do it. Uh, so Stone Tower Foolish. So that is not the temple, to clarify with chat. Uh, that is the area just outside of Stone Tower Temple, um, which is only three checks, and those three checks are locked. Nice, the double hint. Uh, those three checks are locked behind light arrows anyway, 
uh, and a bean. So we're not we're not concerned about those right now. And yeah, yeah as fan, no light arrows are needed. Yeah, yeah, very true. It's very possible. And I was just gonna say again that you know if you're confused about. Uh, me skipping any like brown chests it's because we have a setting all on called chest size matches contents uh, and I'm gonna be looking for mainly gold chests that have that ha go only gold chests can have items that I need brown chests are gonna be things like money bombs arrows uh, bomb baby bomb shoes uh, now, I think heart containers still show up in gilded chests yes, yes uh, heart pieces can show up in brown chests though so, uh, it always kind of helps to pick up some brown chests here and there if I feel I need the health, but otherwise I'm going to be ignoring brown chests for the most part to save time. Yeah, I get them occasionally uh, if, like, I, I really need a bomb refill or money or everything. Yeah. Like, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll open exactly. some that are along the way. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen a number of comments here. Uh, people loving the music, Revan. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, uh, this is randomized um, custom music. Uh, this is actually so because Zoe Gen the seed. These are her. Uh, this is her folder of music stuff. Thanks. Zoe. Uh, she's made. She's made some of the uh, tracks that are that are in here. Uh, oh, okay, that was required. Um, one of which being she made a lot of the Banjo Kazooie tracks, um, the ones that change based on environment and stuff like that. Or your state, like your mask, or whatever. Uh, and they're incredible. <laughs> so hopefully hopefully we'll come across some of those in this seed tonight. I don't know if we will, Yeah, but... it's not as easy, you know, you, you'd think like, oh, you know, it's an N64 game, just, just plop the MIDI in from whatever you have, and, and you're good to go. And oftentimes that is not the case. It's, there's a lot more work involved. Like, manual work goes into, like, getting pretty much all the music that I'm aware of uh, working yeah. in the game in an appropriate yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, have to use the actual sound font and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And basically, like, remaking the song in that sound font. It's very complicated. I've tried looking into it before, and I just went all over my head. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good, good, good job to anyone that can. I very much appreciate the 1,000 songs that are available to download for MMR. <laughs> it truly is astonishing how much there yeah, is. Yeah, it really is. I do really like the, uh, I think it's Route 1 from Pokemon. Yes. Blue, red, blue, yeah, this is yeah. this is actually one of the songs she's made. Uh, she did it actually with the like as close to possible with the chip tune stuff, the eight bit. Like I'm actually stunned; it sounds nearly identical to the original. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so here, uh, there's a trick to get this without a projectile that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna try and get it. Uh, I couldn't tell really what the item was up here. So I'm gonna try to get it without. Um, oh, okay, it's a bow. Hey, oh my, that's nice. that is very nice. Considering how dry this has been, like for the first 20 minutes or so, finally something notable. <laughs> oh yeah, another now, quick thing. I was already thing. getting stressed. They already found two fairies. Like, oh no, it's gonna be over too fast. I have to tell yeah. smooth operative, hey, your show's starting sooner. <laughs> <laughs> So we do need this mirror shield for the castle um, song, whatever that's going to be. Um, so this bow is out of logic until I have either Deku and Magic, Zora Mask, or Hookshot. Um, so I need to pay attention to anything that might be locked behind this bow, because it's not in logic. And, and by in logic, that means the items that you... Uh, can actually get with the, the kit that you have. And currently I do not have a, like I said, like a hook shot or Zora mask or something like that to get that bow. So it's out of logic because I grabbed it without any of those things. Oh, hey, this is one of the Kazooie tracks that Zoe worked on. Nice. Yes. Speaking of Banjo-Kazooie, 
If you're enjoying Game Masters, well, after Game Masters, we have a great show run by Smooth Operative called Time Capsule, and we're heading back to year 2000 with not Banjo Kazooie, but Banjo Tui coming up after this. Ooh. Always been a huge fan of uh, Banjo, myself. And as a reminder to everybody, uh, this is a fairy hunt. In addition to like 10,000 other settings that uh, yes. Revenant Zoe have, well, <laughs> Zoe's made in, into this uh, special preview of Majora's Mask Brando 1.16. Yep. Uh, the, the way it works is two boss remains are started with. This is just to make sure that the seed could be completed in a reasonable amount of time, though hopefully not too fast, Revan. If you, if you do it too fast, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have complaints. Uh, 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 so two sets of fairies basically are already obtained with the two boss remains that you toggle on to start with. And to get the other two remains, the five fairies associated with that dungeon, or just like one of the color sets that you need, need to be found of a total of 15. Uh, so right now there are two fairies for is that God, Great Bay name? Temple for George George yeah yes. for, for George's yes. remains and, yes and there are no fairies yet obtained for Goat's remains and they can literally be found anywhere well anywhere yep. within logic I, I don't yeah know. and I anywhere that's so like not there. that's not junked right so like yeah. the the yeah but you get the idea chat. That, that's what's going a fairy on here. Hypothetically, show up on the moon. Um, no, Actually, because no, because you need all the because, remains to do it. Yeah, I answered yeah. my own question. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. I may force you to do some moon trials if you are too quick. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um. So what I just did there. Uh, you might be wondering why is he? Why did he go specifically into the woods on day two? Uh, it's because there is a grotto that's only available on day two that 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 grotto had my gold dust or whatever um, That grotto is only available on day two. You cannot get that check on day one or day three So it just routes better to do all three of those things right there uh, on day two Because of that grotto. It's a pain in the butt. Otherwise to route it. It becomes isolated if you if you don't And it commonly and, um... has things <laughs> Oh, so Revan's setting up for a little trick here. If you talk to Kome, I think this is Kome. Uh, you yeah, can it's exit Kome. the door without activating the cutscene to ride on the boat if you're fast enough. So yep. yeah, skipping the boat tour, not going over to Deku Palace, which you can't really do anything there until the Deku Mask is obtained, which we still have the prediction to be paid out eventually because we haven't found a single transformation mask yet. Yeah, no, no Those transformation, transformation mask yet. block a lot of things. <laughs> so I'm kind of mm -hmm. surprised we haven't run into anything yet. 30 minutes in, but here we are. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm surprised too, but I'm sure it'll I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna pop up soon. Eventually, eventually like they will pop up. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. they kind of have to, so. Oh, I should have done well it's fine. fine. I'll I'll worry about um grandma stories next cycle. If I have to route letter to cafe, that's a good time to route it anyway. Yeah. Like, it's giving me time to think of the next uh, gambling opportunity. So. Yes, it is. Um, so another thing, too, this is very minor, but there's no Tingle Falling cutscene as well now. You can just shoot him and wait, and he just falls down in-game. It's very cool. Wow. Okay. Lens. All of this is just, like, I swear, is like prepar preparing me for, like, Keg Castle or something. That's what it's looking <laughs> like. And, and for those wondering what Keg Castle means, it means that I would have to get the song at Akana Castle with just Fire Arrows, Lens of Truth, and uh, Goron Mask using the Powder Keg. Instead of just using Light Arrows to get it. Okay, so this is another thing, a part of the static hints. Opponent song in the quiz updates. And Wait, so now what? I know. What? I now know. I now know that the song behind the Powder Keg is New Wave. Oh, that, that's actually a super neat. <laughs> yeah. And this is RNG, by the way. That's just random. Like it normally is. So the fact that I got that is amazing. Incredible. 
Okay, so that's New Wave. Okay. Uh, well, that is... That is the dungeon that isn't dead as well. So we will n probably eventually get New Wave. Yeah. Um, I do have a question uh, for you from chat. That is, what is the latest you have ever gotten your first transformation mask? Oh, if geez. Recall, um, like, if I can recall. How long did it yeah, take? Because it's been like two hours and it's not enough. Because you, you've got to remember, chat, I've played, been playing this randomizer for like three years now. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be three years, yeah. Like, consistently. So it's a little hard to say. I, okay, all right. So yeah, that confirms the... That confirms the Letter to Cafe is, in fact, probably bottlenecking things here. That's all right. That's all right. Um... I would say probably like probably the latest I've had a mask, like transformation mask, was probably like an hour and twenty. Okay. At least to my recollection, anyway. Oh, also, this is gonna route here. This is I have exactly fifty, and I didn't even plan on that. <laughs> That's just funny. I wasn't even paying attention. So I have Mask of Truth uh, from forever ago, and. I can route it because I have 50, I have the minimum amount of money to uh, get the check here uh, to bet on Gold Dog here. Uh, so as long as you have Mask of Truth and Randomizer, you can uh, you can just you can just pick up the Gold Dog here and he'll always win. Uh, so that's what we're about to do here. Now, when you don't have Mask of Truth, is it still a higher chance that the Gold Dog wins? Yes, uh, I. I Forget the exact odds, but it helps if you bet 80 rupees, because then if he gets in, like, second or third, you meet the threshold for the money. Yeah, chat does bring up a good point as well, though. The laundry pool can be way of the hero, bomber, notebook, ribbon for Guru Guru. <laughs> yeah, it totally could. It totally so could. It, yeah, so if the letter is not found... Or if the letter is found, that that check is junk. Well, yeah, I have I have the letter, yeah. Um, yeah so oh so we'll goodness. find out. We'll you know, find I'm out on the next cycle. Happen, I, I want to see you be forced to get the bomber's notebook. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna be. So one of the reasons I don't want to make it Final Night just yet is because I have this bow, I want to route Honey and Darling on day three here. Even though it's out of logic, I still want to do it because it routes. Um, so making a Final Night would end up uh, taking that away from me. Um, also, you might notice on the map here, uh, there is a little radar uh, showing the lemons there, the chickens. Mm -hmm. That's another new feature. Uh, I love it. That's so good. We, yeah, we we might we might get to that later. I don't know, but that basically helps you locate the chickens while you're doing the march. It's great. Okay, so both the laundry pool way of the heroes were here. Okay, I'm glad I came here uh, because if cafe actually doesn't have anything then i at least know i need need the notebook for talking to guru guru at some point so we'll see oh wait oh i well i guess i'm not doing honey and darling i autopiloted there it's fine it's fine it's I'll, I'll get fine. don't worry it's about not in it. logic right now it's fine it's not in logic it's fine i'm trying to get to the cafe stuff faster really I guess what I'm gonna do is, yeah, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be coming back to staff room for a bit. So let's just, let's just do it now, and then I'll go west. Um, because I'm trying to get to 10 o'clock on final night here. Okay, so that's nothing. So why would the notebook be required if? So Guru Guru, the guy that plays the accordion. Or whatever that is. I don't know what it's actually called, uh, that instrument. Um, oh, 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 what is it? It's, it's, it ends in phone. I think, like, a, no, it's not a sousaphone, is it? It's not it's a xylophone. Like a, it's, um, God, it's like a grinder organ or something? Yeah, something like that. 
Anyway, he has another check tied to him with these settings with the notebook on, or with the with the notebook ribbon shuffled, where if you get the notebook, then he has another check where you are talking to him, where you would normally get a notification saying, you met Guru Guru. Instead, I will get an item from him. And since we have Laundry Pool Way of the Hero, uh, that could very well be Way of the Hero for, for him. So just, just to talk to him again. Because I don't think I got anything from him last cycle. I think it was just like a heart piece or something. It's a gramophone? Okay. No, it's not. A gramophone's like a record player type of thing. Um, I think it's okay. a. I think it's a grinder organ. Okay. I, I'm just thinking of like you know those uh, 1920s circus people with like the monkey and yeah, they play an instrument. Yeah, it's, it's that thing. It's that thing, and I'm pretty sure it's called a grinder organ. Okay. We'll go with that. Oh, magic. Okay. Cool. Well, dang, all right. That's good. Still no mask, though. No, still no mask yet. That hour 20 late mask. Better watch out because uh, we're halfway there. <laughs> Grandma phone. <laughs> And oh yeah, speaking of Banjo Kazooie again, we got another one of the songs Zoe made from Banjo Kazooie. Uh, ported over to here. Uh, Clanker's Cavern. Okay. You know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, truly games without instruments. And yes, you know, we've had uh, the ocarina, of course, or the flute, as it's called the English localization of Link to the Past. Uh, then you got like a wind waker. Then you got a harp. Uh, he, he had some grass, I think, in the uh, in Twilight Princess. Like, like the instrument was grass. Yeah, the horse whistle, <laughs> horse whistle, oh, and, and like the, 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 hawk. the horse whistle, and, the, and then just like howling with the wolf before the, yeah. the mechanic and. It's like, I'm, I'm picturing like 30 years from now and uh, Nintendo's still making Zelda games. And oh. they, they just have to go to something super obscure <laughs> to, to, to get their magical instrument mechanic. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I guess to kill this last bit of time here, I'm going to do town archery. Uh, and then that should be fine. So I got cafes mask, so that's funny. Okay. And then what is... Okay, that's that's small, so I don't really need to worry about... So I'll go ahead and turn this in now. Okay, just money. Actually, I'll... How do you fit all that stuff in that flower, by the way? I don't know. Like, there, there's no hole underneath that flower. It's just the flower. He's got like four bags worth of stuff plus himself. Those are magical purse that that guy's got. I guess I'll just do it. I was debating on whether or not I should just wait, but I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, go through here. Yeah, it kind of sucks that I'm going to have to reroute Honey and Darling later, but that's fine. It's okay. Let's get it in cycle two. It's, it's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Watch that end up being the mask, though. <laughs> even though it'd be out of logic right now. So this game, are there two prizes on it? Uh, not in, in these settings I for tonight, no. Um, but you can absolutely turn the other prize on if you want. And I can totally get the perfect pretty easily. 
Uh, but it's best not to have it on, just because it doesn't really need to have two two items on it. Yeah, just like the Swamp Archery. Yeah. Like, the key to this minigame is always starting on the left side. Here, you I do eventually had every cycle memorized. <laughs> so I mean, I I technically some of the blue ones um, here, it doesn't lose you points, but it causes the timer to tick down. So based on how fast you're clearing each of them, it's more optimal to hit enough of the blue Octoroks to have as little time remaining by the end of it, because it has to tick down. Yep. So ideally, you know, you get to 40 and then you just shoot all the blue rock rock drops and you're done so you don't have to sit here waiting for 20 seconds yeah that was a ribbon yes it was a ribbon which doesn't do anything screen. right now <laughs> yeah for those that are wondering that is not the bomber's notebook that is a ribbon a what you would normally see from talking to an npc as a notification when you have the notebook uh hold on here we go this is what i wanted to do Don't have to worry about that. Cool. So no, no all night mask purchase. We're good. Excellent. Great. Excellent. Means you don't have to get two wallets. It's an expensive mask there. Yeah. So that that basically is what the first cycle route looks like. Um, there are some variations you could have happen in there if I got a transformation mask, but I didn't. So <laughs> we got the fast first cycle technically where like I'm done in like 40 minutes <laughs> all right so about what I was talking about with cafe earlier ah it's because I didn't peek it look at him look at that there's our hey. logic so I get to turn in the letter here and with that we actually have I believe the answer yes we do for which mask so gonna go get first mm -hmm. so had i actually remembered to peek that earlier i maybe would have pushed letter to cafe instead but it's okay congratulations actually, to those of you who voted deku this this would be better to route here hold on uh so we have this all nights mask i got i need to make sure i route it with letter to cafe it feels like I knew. <laughs> I, I, I definitely didn't know which, 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 like what that was gonna. Like I had some. I didn't really have many checks left. Is the thing about it. Um, and I, I just felt like that that was gonna be something. Uh, before I even saw the laundry pool way of the hero hint. Wait, what do you mean it should be Goron? What? Wh it was what's Deku. Going on? What's going on? What's going on, chat? Why, why, why is it going on? <laughs> Unless one of these ends up being Goron, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, uh, as chat might have noticed, I uh, have my tray items uh, from the last cycle. Uh, that is one of the new features. Um, you can now optionally decide to keep your trade items through through time. Just like how you can optionally decide to keep keys through time. So that letter to cafe that I found last cycle, I didn't have to go and get it again. I just was able to keep it. It came back in my inventory. Well, for those of you saying Goron first, I want you all to see which transformation mask ends up in Revan's inventory first here. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, yeah. That's going to be interesting if that is what, what happens here. That is going to be interesting. I didn't really look at, get a good look at what was on his chest. So not only is the, the mask on his face shown, but also what would be the pendant, what, what Cafe gives you, essentially. Oh shoot! Did, did I jump yeah. the gun? You you might have jumped the gun just because we saw Deku. <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I can amend it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> They're right there. <laughs> well, uh... Yeah. I, I, I have nobody to blame but myself. Uh, for this one. Yeah. Uh, well, here's, here's what... <laughs> Here, here's what we can do. Here, I, I, I have 116,000 GDQ points. I need literally anybody else to make a prediction, okay? And then put one of the predictions, fans points, and then put the other prediction as to receive fans points. And I'll put my entire 116,000 or as much as I possibly can in there. And whoever wants to take them, you can take them. This is my, this is my makeup. To you, Chad. I hope you uh take my apology. <laughs> but I do need someone to start that prediction other than me because I can't vote in predictions that uh, I make. So. Yeah. So with this Deku mask now, my bow is is in logic because I got magic from Sphere Zero Great Bay Coast. Um. So we're all good as far as logic is concerned now. Okay. All right, there all we right. go. I put all of my. Why are you? Why are so many people giving? What? What? I, I put in one hundred and twenty-six thousand points. There's three hundred and twenty-three thousand in in my points. What, what are y'all doing? <laughs> what are y'all doing? Why, why are there five hundred thousand points as part of my points? Who? Okay, well, we've got another crazy new feature. You, you know how uh, Donkey Kong 64 has Tag Anywhere? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Great. How wonderful. Is this also a new feature? Yes, uh, it's an option where you can instant transform. And uh, you can All right. likely do some zany stuff with it, but uh, I I don't know a lot because I th this is just something that I've only been able to play with for like a week, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But what I will show off with it is what happens with this mini game uh, with the instant transform, and just like that, they are down. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> So it's even faster and more ridiculous that way. Uh, and Zoe was legitimately inspired by the Tag Anywhere to make this feature. She uh, told me that. So you can thank DK64. Alright, so yeah, the, the point redistribution has been completed. Uh, my sincere apologies. So, without further ado, time to time to make more gamba. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of a good prediction here, Rabbit. You got you got something for me? Uh, jeez. I don't you really do know. Like happening by uh, an hour mark. Like, will we find the Zora mask by? Uh, yeah, Zora mask by like yeah, something like that maybe. Okay, so with that done, I'm now just going to uh, deposit this money and then reset, and then we're gonna go to Deku Palace, because that is my next way of the hero. And uh, yeah, shout outs to DK64Randomizer.com. Oh yeah, thanks Richard for putting that link in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another frequent oh, hotfix visitor. Oh, you I know what? I've had the okay. DK64 rando on more than just vanilla DK64. On. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not surprised. It's so good. It it's so great. good. Okay, I just realized I have a Road to Akana Way of the Hero. Now, it's possible that this Road to Akana Way of the Hero is actually going to be um, Shiro, uh, Shiro's. Um, uh, notebook ribbon check, and I don't have the notebook yet, 
But just in case it's not, uh, we're going to go over there now anyway. I was going to reset, but then I realized I had this and I'm over here. So I'm just going to do this now because I don't want to get distracted by whatever is Way of the Hero in Deku Palace. Um, and since we're also playing with the um, the Blitz like song layout, I'm going to be getting two songs from the swamp area. So don't want to miss hey, out on that. Hey, hey Revan. Yeah, you should uh, you should mark the deck mask on your tracker. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. hopefully chat didn't hear hear me say that to you. So. Oh dear, oh goodness. And okay, that's big. All right, so we'll be coming back to that for later. <clears throat> we lonkin. I guess... Mm, oh, wait, no, I'm Jinx, though. Now I can't show it off. Rip. So, Jinx, because of Instant the Transform... the worst thing ever to be at yeah. this game. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, because I'm Jinx, I couldn't show off, like, probably the one thing that I could I could do with Instant Transform, which is uh, Goron uh, bouncing and then jump slashing out of it as human instead of having what? to damage boost. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's like the one thing I could could have probably shown off, but oh well. <laughs> you know, right, let's some see. Day, days I feel like Shiro. Mm. Quite a right there. Ah, okay. So we're gonna get that new wave. All right. Very good. That will probably be the way of the hero then. In Road to Akana. Okay. So. Powder keg. I will mark that in a second. Boom. That's actually really beautiful because I can route that just before I go to Palace and I get my new wave. This is Deku and Goron Mask. We still have an East Clock Town Way the Hero that I haven't done yet that could be on uh, notebook related. So, um,. Some of the so I mentioned that temper some temporary items they uh, they stay with you through time. Powder keg is not one of those, and neither is gold dust or any like bottle content stuff. Um, but all the other oh my gosh, all the other stuff like the deeds and and letter to cafe they all stay with you. Um, I need fifty bucks. In fact, I can pause and show you that. See, I have all these again. Which also lets them have more flexibility in where they can land, uh, be placed in, in the in the randomizer in seeds. As before, when they when they don't stay with you through time, there were actual hard coded restrictions on stuff and like time restrictions for these things. Like you couldn't have letter to cafe on toilet hand, for example. Um, but I, with this this setting turned on, you can. <clears throat> At least I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the case. Okay. Zoe didn't tell me otherwise. Oh, you know what? Actually, while we're passing through, let's get this nice photo of Tingle here. Perfect. Thank you. Good job, Tingle. Go, Revan, I discovered recently one of my yes. MM Rando plays. So you know yes. you could shoot the powder keg and have it instantly explode. I thought yes. it'd be a great idea um, to take out, was it Sakon? Sakon, the, the guy who robs Bomb Grandma? Yes. Like, oh, I can't, I'm just going to shoot him from over here, be more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, well, as it turns out, if you do that, um, there's nothing left. He just gets atomized. It's just completely yep. gone. I was like, yep. I, I was dying so much of laughter when that happened. I had no idea that was a thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. And, and and the funny thing about that is, if you have your sword shuffled, um, there's a very rare chance that you could be expected to do that for logic to get the uh, All Night Mask purchase, I think. Yeah, because you or, can't you... get the big bomb back from it because you blow up the right. big bombs. 
along yeah. with that <laughs> Yeah, so you can be expected to do that. Uh, if you shuffle the sword and all the things line up, you don't have Zora, you don't have the, you don't have Goron mask, like all that stuff is locked behind it. So, uh, I have not had that happen before yet. Uh, In theory, but it is possible. It is possible to have it happen, yeah, for logic. All right, so now we have that. So now I can just go straight to, um, straight to the swamp and get another set of two songs. And one of the song locations is hinted Way of the Hero to us. So we'll see what happens with that. And I also need to remember that there is that, that gold dust on day two woods in the grotto there. Don't know if that'll come into play at all, but I've got it mentally noted in my head, at least. I might want to consider writing it down just in case at some point, I don't forget. You know, I, I know As that her, guy is, like, embarrassed about his son, but, you know, I'm glad to mm, be able to Uh, yes, so if if Woodfall is Great Bay Temple, I still need the song to enter the Woodfall dungeon to get into Great Bay Temple. Uh, none that of that changes. Of awakening. Yep. And then for the Great Bay Temple dungeon entrance, I need New Wave Bossa Nova, which I just got from a bonus song. So, yeah. So one thing I've always wondered, like, I'm not a musical theory expert, uh, but there's a lot of, like, uh, fancy names for these songs, like the Elegy of Emptiness, the New Wave Bossa Nova, mm -hmm. the Guan yeah. Lullaby, the Sons of Awakening, the Bolero of Fire, the Serenade of Water, and all this other stuff. Do those songs actually apply to that musical subgenre? Or is it just like, ah, uh, we'll just slap it on there because we need to keep it different? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Any, any <laughs> musical theory experts in chat can shed some light? Yeah. So going through um, this area, the, the Deku Gardens, Deku Palace Gardens or whatever, we can do something a little nice here. Oh. Yep. Bouncing around here, you know. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> I don't think you're to be it's a little, little tricky, dude. Yeah. yeah, so that's a that's a trick that you can do where you just backflip onto the door frame there, and then uh, you go. Jeez, okay, I gotta make sure I don't get caught here. Okay, that was close. Uh, and you just do a roll like I did, like at a very specific angle to get up and grab that ledge up there. Um. There's an easier variant where you use Zora Mask to side hop and grab the ledge, but I don't have Zora, so I gotta do this. And I did it just like that two times. Just like that. It's very... It's actually one of the most essential tricks you could learn, but also one of the easier ones. It might look like it's hard, but it's not too bad. It's one of those, like, quality of life tricks you should learn if you ever were to play MM Rando. There's there's several of those in in this randomizer. Like there's a lot of tricks in in Majora's Mask Rando that like they might look like they're they're hard to do, but they're really not. One one of which is just placing a bomb behind you to boost over off of a ledge. It it looks like it might need more than than that, but it actually doesn't. You literally just place a bomb behind you when you're at the tippest the 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 furthest you can be at the ledge, and you just get blown forward. Very far and easily okay so most likely uh that is not the way of the hero at this point because we have stone tower bean chests confirmed dead and we know we don't okay so actually we don't know what is at the great bay temple entrance yet but we know it's at woodfall so maybe it's not dead because if Inverted Stone Tower Temple is at Great Bay Temple, then that means Uninverted Stone Tower Temple has something. But we'll see. Maybe I'll just find a different item here or something, and it'll be fine. Okay, Great Bay, small key. 
buying a bean just because, I don't know, might need it. Hey. Well, I do actually need it because this was a gilded chest that I saw, so. Uh, in these settings, we start with a Pona song, yes. Um, the songs you start with uh, are Song of Time, Song of Soaring, and a Pona song. Uh, you can look at it starting as a Pona song as, like, the song I got from Song of Healing. Oh, okay. Well, that's a big if. It wouldn't take much for me to, to turn that in. I just need Zora and then a hookshot. So we'll put down Ocean Deed... And GBT small key just in case, and then Elegy. I'm just writing all that down, what I got there, so I don't forget. So we're gonna get another song here, because this is the Blitz song layout, uh, which for those maybe not familiar with what that means, uh, we do not have to get the Zora eggs to get a song. Um, and nice. instead, <laughs> instead we get a song from the soaring tablet over here. Song of Healing. Okay. Alright, we're gonna see a cute animation here from Deku. Stuff you never really see anymore. <laughs> oh, nice wallet. Okay. So that puts in Bank 2 into Logic right now. Um. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh yeah, I can, I can get another song. Um, actually in the north now. I'm gonna do that after this. Um, okay, that looks like that might not be important now. Uh, I am going to be able to find out where these Woodfall Fairies are here in a moment. Um, this is another new feature in 1.16 that we're showing off tonight. Uh, just let me get this gilded chest over here first. I'm amazed how much is here. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I said, and like I said, there's still more that are not being shown off in this. It's kind of nuts. <laughs> well, if uh, if some of our wonderful oh. viewers wish to check out 1.16, the version of Majora's Mask Radio you are currently playing, when or where would they be able to do this? Well, uh, that would be in the MMR Discord. I don't have a link for that on me right now. Uh, but... That would be where it would be. Uh, we don't know when it's coming, just Zoe has said soon for a soon beta TM. release. I love it. Uh, she's always, like, through the process of, of preparing this, she actually made changes because of what I had been essentially playtesting in a way. Um, <laughs> so some of the stuff here was not how it was about, like, a week and a half ago. <laughs> So because of me playing, she actually made, like, several improvements to things and added things uh, and found bugs. So, all right. So this oh, is how we're going to find stuff. out. This is how we're going to find out. So beta test and live on GDQ. If you have fairy shuffled in any way, you can find out the general regions of where they are if you go to the respective fairy fountain. So we have one in stock pot in. Uh... Windfall fairies. One in Stockpot Inn. One in Romani Ranch. Okay. One in Stone Tower Temple. Okay, so that confirms that uninverted Stone Tower Temple is a thing. And one in Pinnacle Rock. And one in North Cockton that I haven't gotten yet. Okay, that's probably. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be Bomb Grandma. Uh, one in NCT, and we saw the one in East Clocktown on, uh, Postman's Head, so, yeah. Uh, so the reason why I said North Clocktown and West Clocktown is because 
the way she had to handle multi-region checks with respect to the fairies, it just lists the, all the regions that that uh, check is tied to. So in that instance, it's referring to Bomb Grandma, and that's referring to her her notebook ribbon. So she can be got that can be gotten by saving her or by talking to her in the bomb shop when she's there. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's why you saw an extra fairy instead of it being just five. Why are you all making fun of the, the fairies? They're just aspiring influencers. <laughs> so now I know that, now that I know that there's another, there's a woodfall fairy in here, I'm going to set up midnight meeting. And then, uh, while that's just gonna, I'm going to end up probably double timing here. Uh, or wait, actually... East Clocktown Way of the Hero. Let's see. Okay, we get to see this. This is another new feature. Some of you might grit. Some of you might be like, might uh, furrow your brows or get very angry at this mini game. Oh, that's too bad. But um, as I was saying, you might get frustrated. Uh, look at the mini map. You can see the layout of the mini game, and you can just follow that to the end and you will get the chest, no problem. You no longer have to guess anymore and run into the blocks a million times. Ah, oh, but that was half the fun. <laughs> Why five and not 15? Because if we had to collect all 15 fairies, so Majora's Mask is a lengthy game. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of time consuming things. And we have three hours to do this. Mm. And this is a, couple of settings that will ensure we don't uh, go over that. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. While I am here... Oh, you know what? That could... Well, no, it doesn't... Well, it could... No, it's... Yeah, okay. I probably should have also routed bombers at some point, but I guess I'm just going to keep putting that off now. It's fine. I'll get to bombers. Maybe when I get the notebook or something. I do have that East Clocktown Wave hero. Maybe I should have should buy a keg really fast and go check that hideout chest. That might not be a bad idea. Because that is a big gilded chest back there, and that's part of East Clocktown. That might even just be the notebook. Uh, I probably should go do that. I'm going to buy a keg and just do that real fast. Mark my wallet here. Okay. Yeah, like, it's definitely, like, with all the stuff that I do have on, I am thinking about a lot of different things, so that's why, like, if I seem scrambled, it's just because I'm... <laughs> I realize that I have a song available I can go get, but also that I am looking for this East Clocktown Way of the Hero, unless I have already gotten it and I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think I have. Um, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I don't think I've gotten it at this point. And there, there is a chance that, yeah, it could be Letter to Mama, but uh, I'm going to just do this out of logic here. And the reason why this is out of logic is because uh, explosive base checks are not in logic with Powder Keg. You need to use uh, Bomb Bag. It expects Bomb Bag or Blast Mask. Um, so if this ends up being something, then I'm going to need to pay attention for when I get a Bomb Bag or a Blast Mask that puts this into logic. And it's very important because you could get very led astray if you uh, continue to stay out of logic, especially in MM Rando. Um, so I saw this was a big chest earlier from a peek that we did at the start. So let's see if this is the way of the hero or not. Captain's hat. Okay, that I is the mean. that is probably the way of the hero. Um, Lots of number of things. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I have two choices here. This is tough because like I have to. Hmm. I guess. You know what? Yeah, we probably should go east first. Um. Even though I don't have a powder keg, it's it's fine. I could buy another one. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy another one. I'm I'm gonna buy another one. I'm I'm gonna buy another one because because there's two explosive base checks here. I might want to get the one that's more time based and annoying to get to behind the captain's hat. 
So, I'm just gonna buy another keg. I'm gonna drain my money, but that's fine. I was gonna go north, but, you know, that, that sort of got sidetracked with this East Clocktown way of the hero. As a reminder, we are looking for the notebook. At least one of these fairies has got to be locked behind the notebook. And I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, I mean, we know for sure because of uh, Bomb Grandma having one. Okay, let me see about if I can... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna try and do that tech, I guess, now that I mentioned earlier. I didn't really practice it, but okay. we'll see if I can do it or not. Let's get rid of this guy over here. There. Okay, I wanted to make sure he wouldn't get in the way. Okay, wait. Okay, when, when do I... Okay. There we go. <laughs> sure, sure. We'll take it. Sure, why not? Oh my goodness. I still hope we find the, the bomber's notebook. And this spot in particular, getting past those two bubbles consistently without getting hit, I feel it's impossible. Nobody can convince me there's a consistent way to get by yeah. those idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of just have to take it and deal with it. Nintendo knew what they were doing with that enemy placement. Okay, so since I already know that I'm going to get whatever's in here anyway, uh, there's another static hint over here. There's two, actually. Well, three with that one that I just destroyed, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this, okay, not this one. Uh, it's this one over here. So we have Dampe Digging on, and that's the ribbon. Uh, so that is dead. Dampe Digging's not needed. And this is Mask of Sense, which is also not needed. Okay, cool. I could use the uh, powder keg on the grotto. Uh, do I have a stick Any chance? by any chance? Let me see. I don't. Okay, let me go and use the powder keg then. Because now I don't need to use it for the Night 2 Grave because of those static hints, because I know that, that Mask of Sense is in Night 2 Grave. Um, we're good on that. You know, I never even considered using a powder keg as a regular explosive. Yeah, it, you know, I seldomly do it, but in this case, uh, I'm doing it. <laughs> so. Mainly because I don't want to have to come back here. Yeah. A third time, so. Okay, that's a small gilded chest. Uh... That could probably just be a deed at this point, maybe. I don't know. Oh, wait, I needed to get the... Did I not get the... I didn't get the stick. Oh, my goodness, I'm stupid. Um... Well, I guess we're just gonna go and get the stick from the other grotto, then. Oops. I was on autopilot. Again. It's fine. You get to see more of... Of this! <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, but now I got hit, so I'm gonna have to call Epona. No. Yeah, it's annoying. Bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles ruining the, the cool stuff. I could do the damage boost with the bubble instead, but it's more annoying because you have to deal with their RNG of when they. Um. Are when you aggro them or whatever. It's just annoying. Gotta make sure I had enough space to jump over. Okay. Okay. Alright, I dodged them this time.
All right, now we're doing this. So the reason I need the stick is because I needed it to light these torches to get to the song first, instead of I dealing with the bats. Yeah. Good thing you have the, the Great Fairy Sword. Mmm. Making it nice and speedy here. Yep. Ooh. All right. Okay. Song. You get Sonata. Okay. Oh, that's, that's access to a dungeon. It sure is, and it's also that Captain Kita small gilded chest that I saw. Boy, the graveyard just keeps on going. Doesn't it sure does. Do Did Nintendo really need to put this many bats in here? There must have been like a bat fan on yeah, on the dev team. Like, heck the player. Hey, that's the ribbon. That's nothing. All right. All right. So we just need to do Captain Kita here, and then I can. I think uh, after we do take out Captain, I think that'd be a yeah. good time to go into a quick break. Absolutely. That's perfectly fine with me. If I had a bomb here, I'd show I would have shown something off as well as far as like tech goes, but I don't. So we're just doing this the normal way. Also, no Zora Mask by Hour 20. Yeah, so. no Zora Mask, yep. GG's to the we, doubters. We do need it because we have a Pirate's Fortress interior way of the hero, so... All right, what is this before we go on our break? And it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still just hoping... Every time I see a, a ribbon, I'm, I'm excited that it's going to be the... The actual bomber's notebook, so we can start mm -hmm. getting those. Yeah. But everybody, don't go anywhere because after this short break, we'll be back with the second half of this MM Rando 1.16 showcase that uh, Revan has brought to show to you all. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Also, the SGDQ 2023 schedule is now out, so head on over to gamesdonequick.com or use exclamation point SGDQ in chat for more info. See y'all in a few minutes. And welcome back to Game Masters, everyone, where we have Revan showing off a whole bunch of new features, a uh, surprising amount of new features that I don't know about, uh, right here for you all. And, you know, Revan, we've got, I think, what, three of the fairies for one of the dungeons, none of the fairies for the other. So what do you say we get back into this and find the rest of them? Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's get started and get back to things rolling again in three, two, one, and resume. Um, so, uh, I did set up midnight meeting before the break, uh, so let's go see what that is. And then, since I know this captain's hat is currently out of logic due to the fact that it's explosive locked, I don't necessarily want to start chasing the Sonata of Awakening just yet. Especially because there are some of these uh, time-based checks I need to go and clean up. Um, most notably with also, I forgot to mark earlier the Song of Healing that I have. <laughs> forgot to mark that, silly me. Um, sorry, I knew I had it. Uh, but chat now knows that I have it, so that's also important. <laughs> okay, so not 
Not Anju. All right. So we're also going to be routing uh, Mr. Uh, Kamaro out here. Now, I could also route Gossip Stones with this, but it's not in logic, so I'm not going to. Um, it's kind of unlikely it has anything right now uh, because of that, so I'm not going to worry about it. And we're going to be wanting to probably chase the north here. Um, just because I have this, uh, Lens of Truth, which is gonna get me Hot Spring Water. And that lets me get another song, um, up in the north. Uh, and it's actually a new song location in 1.16. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go the north here. It's it's my most densest location right now. Um, and that's why I was, like, trying to push it before we checked the East Clock Town way of the hero out. Uh, which is, prob it is definitely the captain's hat at this point. Uh, but there could always be more there, especially with the notebook still out there in the wild. Uh, so we'll see where that ends up being. Um, a fisherman game is a bomb trap, so that's another new feature. There are bomb traps you can turn on now. Not just ice traps. There are bomb traps. Is that like a... Is there anything in the base game that does that? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Just like just like the ice traps, there's... That also isn't really in the base game. It is... It's unused. Um, uh, no, wait, in, Ice Traps I thought were um, in, at least in OOT, in Spirit yeah, Temple in, and in the Ganon Trial. They're in OOT, but in MM? Mm -hmm. In MM, they're not in there at all, like in, in the base game anywhere. Uh, they're just, they're actually like in the game's code, just unused. Um, there's a lot. There's from Ocarina of Time, there it is. Yeah, there, <laughs> there's a few different unused items also, uh, item models and whatnot. Um, and I and I think like one or two of them were repurposed in, in MMR in some way, uh, like the the fairy models uh, actually the the ones that uh, you've seen me picking up those are actually the uh, the shop model from uh, OOT. Uh, funnily enough. Yeah, so we're going to be getting some uh, hot spring water up in the north here. Uh, because this adult wallet gives me the ability to check the smithies up here. And we also get to heal our good buddy old pal Darmani. As well. So the reason why I don't want to go into the dungeon also at Woodfall Temple, which is Great Bay Temple right now, is because I don't have a hookshot. So once I go in, I can't go out unless I Song of Time. So anything I want to do before I go in there is now the time to do it. Plus, again, it is out of logic, but it's very likely uh, because that was the only thing I found in Ikana Graveyard, that Sonata, that that is locking an item I need. Uh, in the dungeon. So we'll we'll see if that ends up happening. Um, you know, I'm going to invert here just so I make sure I get this because uh, I don't want to miss out on this check. And I think if I tried to get over to the hot spring water grotto to get that to like peak that and get that hot spring water set up, I'll end up missing out on smithy one. So I actually have to invert there uh, and like Inverting, like, really, you have to get a feel for the clock before you are you can do what I'm doing and realize that, wait a minute, I need to invert and stuff like that when you're comfortable with the clock and stuff. Or you can just let it go freely and whatnot. Okay, he had money on him. That helps, because I just took out a hundred. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pull this out. I maybe would have been fine because I'm going to end up soaring out of here to pause the clock, but it's all right. Oh. 
So there is so one of those another one of those freestandings. You probably just saw it. I looked at Hungry Goron there. Instead of wearing the Don Jero mask like he usually does, he was wearing a red rupee. So I know I don't need to turn anything into him. I don't need to go get the rock so sirloin or whatever. Um, I, but there's I still another. Love the rock sirloin. Yeah, yeah. There's another uh, freestanding thing though uh, coming up here in a second. Um, just ah. Please, Goron, <laughs> you're too big. Um, I just need to go set it up first. It's kind of, in this case, it's not that huge of a peak because I am so close to day two anyway, but uh, I am showing stuff off here, so it might be funny. Okay, and then is this anything? No, it's a brown chest. Okay, so... <laughs> I bet. I wonder if just explosives are just like out in Zora Cape or something at this point, because this Captain Satin does need to come into logic eventually here. Um, I guess it's possible it could be in Great Bay Temple, but there's not much I can do in Great Bay Temple without Hookshot or Zora anyway. So I may end up getting bottlenecked into it. Possible. So we're going to do this. This thaws the forge here. Okay. So, even though I'm so close to day two anyway, I'm going to walk back in here. And uh, they're crafting a... Uh... Well, that's a notebook shape. I'm kind of doubtful and skeptical it's the actual notebook, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Do you like curse traps? Uh, Ocarina of Time uh, 3D randomizer has some curse traps in it. Actually. All right, nope, it's the ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to keep it on day two right now, because I do have that gold dust to go back and get. But we're going to go ahead and um, go and get this song now. I'm kind of hoping this song... I feel like what this song might be is not going to be terribly useful to me at this point, but I'm just going to go for it anyway. Okay, let's see now. Okay, that's that's a bomb bag. Okay. I don't have Swamp Deed, though. So I guess now I I got the other question to ask. How, what's the longest you've gone without explosives? <laughs> oh, man. I've actually had entire seeds where I never got it. Of course. Yep, um, because explosives are really, like, they're not as, re as required. There's not as many checks as there are in Ocarina of Time Rando. Um, okay, that's another ribbon. Okay. Well, that's good. So, Come on, uh, Barber's Notebook. I'm not asking for much this seed. I'm just asking for that. <laughs> So even though I have the Lens of Truth here, because I'm playing on actual N64, using the lens here it actually lags the game more than me just using the owl. So it's actually faster for me to use the owl. Uh, Wait, than... are you serious? Even I'm like not... talking and, and using the, watching the whole cutscene is faster. Yes. Yes. Wow. It is. Just it's wow. that laggy with lens on those platforms. It's ridiculous. I had no idea. Yeah, on N64. On on emulator, obviously, it's fine, but... Okay, that's brown, too. Okay, all those are brown. Cool. So I'm gonna go get this song now. Actually, how much health do I have? Well, I've already initiated the Song of Soaring, so it's fine. I had too much health. I could have... I could have uh, used a Death Warp there to, um... to get over to the over to back over to the Goron village door 
Um, but this is faster in this case because I have five and a half health. Or four and a half health. Um, all right, so I'm going to go into here. Hole in one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> uh. So this is a new song location in um, 1.16. Uh, because we have the Goron Lullaby intro uh, shuffled. So Goron Lullaby is actually split up into two uh, songs now. Or can be. It's an option. And so talking to this guy right here is going to give me another song. Uh, the Goron Baby will also still give a song. I just need the, the lullaby intro to get that song. Which is why I'm pushing this, because... It could just be vanilla! And it is! So let's see what song is actually... I have a feeling it's probably Oath at Akana Castle at this point. But let's see if I'm just wrong about that in any way. If this is Gora Lullaby, then that would put Gossip Stones into Logic for me. Which would be something I could consider doing. So you now have to play the actual intro to the baby to get the song check here, if you do turn this on. Okay, it's just Song of Storms. All right. Uh, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen. All right. So we definitively know with that, that Oath is at Akana Castle. Um, because Snowhead Temple is dead. Um, actually, there's no yeah, point there's going no back there. there's no way around here. it. Like, that, that's hard required. Yep. We need Oath to order to actually get up onto the moon. Um, okay. So, I could go into Great Bay Temple, but I don't want to still because I have this uh, gold dust here I need to go turn in now, now that I've thawed Smithy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, after this, what I have left for checks outside of Great Bay Temple would be Honey and Darling on day three. Um, you know, using uh, the bow there that I said, oh, I'm going to do this, and then I just totally blipped on doing it. Um, and then I've got the Zora Cape Grotto out uh, all the way over there with just Goron Mask to, to hit it. The boulder. So we're going to see if this is anything or not. We'll be able to know right away, too. Um, and then I guess I might just actually go for that Zora Cape Grotto. And then from there, probably make it day three. I'm just hesitant to go into Great Bay Temple just because I don't have that logic for the uh, captain's hat. Uh, I do have the letter to Mama as well. Okay, so let's see what this is. Maybe I should push the letter to Mama because, well, we know one. We know one is the fairy. Oh, uh, that's a small key, so that's dead. Okay. All right. So in that case. Let's just go get the grotto anyway. Maybe it is just Zora Cape Grotto. Uh, there's also the healing Mikal there as well. So that routes with that. Oh, wait. Right. Mikal's going to be over here. So lately I've been playing a lot of combo rando. And uh, I've kind of had muscle memory switched to where I'm used to Mikau being on the shore already. Uh, 
but in this case, I remembered. Oh, wait, no, he's in the water in, in MM Rando. Gotta go save him. Yep. So we've had a bit of a fairy dry spell, you know, with, with 30 of them being required and us only having three. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. Yeah, well, you know what happens. It sure does. And there's also, oh yeah, I'd have to, I should definitely route bombers if I'm going to do Honey and Darling. Yeah. Okay, that's not it either. I honestly am a little tempted to just go and dip into Great Bay Temple for like the three checks that are kind of available in there right now without Hookshot. Because I know Sonata is way of the hero, but I feel like Zora's not in there. That would be crazy if Zora's in there. Well. I man, I I really want the bomb bag logic so bad. Cause that would I would immediately go to Great Bay Temple at that point. I know Deku Palace is Wath. Okay, that's a big boy up there. So just keep that in mind. I mean, at this point, I could freely go into Great Bay Temple. It's just that the problem is I'd have to cycle again to day three if I wanted to do any either of the letter to mama checks. Okay, maybe this is just it. I mean, this is a classic thing that can happen. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna cycle the day three, do Honey and Darling, and then just do the letter to Mama. Um, the turn in for... Uh, to Aroma and Bar. And, like, I probably should route bombers with all that anyway. It's probably gonna be... Man, I, I have a very strong sneaking suspicion that this is actually gonna be Zora or Hookshot in Great Bay Temple. Uh, and I should probably just go and do that anyway. Um, very strong feeling, but I'm just hesitant to go in there because when I have... Uh, letter to mama stuff to do and one of them is required already I just don't want to do it on this cycle uh, I don't want to leave this behind anymore than I have <sighs> like we're literally missing hookshot and fire arrows and Zora right now to okay, get the rest I'm, of these I'm sure they'll show up eventually, Revan. Uh, I have confidence. <laughs> like, the only other time I was going to rub route these kids was now anyway with the mini games that I had left. But yeah, the moment the moment I get a bomb bag is the moment I know, okay. Um I have to go into Great Bay Temple. How much of Great Bay Temple can you even do without the Zora Mask? So because we have all the stray fairies shuffled from there, there are three checks I can get with the Great Fairies mask um, at the start. Uh, and then there's, yeah, that's also including the, the chest, the torches at the start.
All right. Not honey and darling. Okay, so now I just double time here. Because even though I set up bombers, um, they only they only go away if you do like a, a full day transition. So the transition to night is fine. And this is like the only time this really routes cleanly. There it is. Okay. It's it's probably Great Bay Temple. Um okay. Um I need to finish the bombers though still first, just to be on the safe side. So it actually is probably gonna be either Hookshot or Zora and Great Bay Temple. That's what this means. Which is in which is very not common at all. I did not have this come up in, in practice. A stone mask. Let's write down the code. Because we are going to need this later. Four, five, one, two, three. So, I've never used the code before. I thought you could just like jump over the guy. Does the code so, come into play with something else? It comes into play with the notebook. Ah. Oh, wait. How? So, in order to actually get the the ribbon from the bombers, you have to actually either play their minigame or type in the code and then walk back out and have Jim recognize you. What? What? Yep. Yep. I'm just gonna do these three checks. Uh... Cause I've got nothing else... I could really do. Besides... Oh, actually, well, yeah, now that would put gossips into logic, yeah. Uh, that's okay, we'll just do these three. It's fine. It's fine. I was gonna song a time anyway. Okay, that's a gilded chest of some kind, at least. Nope. That could have been, like, a trade item. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna go here. Mm, actually, I don't want to do that. No. Nope. What do you think right, of it's... Link's fancy flips and moves every time he jumps? What is this? What is this down here? Just show off. Okay, that's a ribbon. Uh, I think his his flips and stuff are uh, pretty cool. I like them. Okay, I think it's actually. I think it. it I'm trying to think of like what else there would be at this point. Are we reaching the coveted last location, Revan? There's still gotta be plenty of stuff, though, yeah. Unless I just, like, mispeaked the chest on final day in South Clocktown. But I don't think I did. Anyway, I guess I'm just gonna do Gossip Stones here. Because that's, like, the only thing that Sonata could really do if... Great I forget, did you ever up. head back to do Honey and Darling? I just did it. Okay, I'm, I'm dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just did it just before the uh, letter to Bama. I completely forgot this was a check. Yeah. This so this I mentioned earlier and the opportune time to route it would like would have been with Kamaro when I was healing him, but uh, because 
of um, the... Because I didn't have the logic for it, I didn't do it. Yeah, no hookshot uh, really limits quite a lot. Yeah, it, it does. It does. Oh, that was weird. Okay. For a moment, I thought... Oh, gosh. I thought for a moment that was, like, gonna be a softlock. That would have been bad. I did at least Song of Time recently anyway, so it would have been fine. But... Didn't... I guess I pulled... Uh, I instant transformed a little too quickly there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to just remember checks, think of checks. Mm -hmm. That's, like... I don't think there's anything left in Lon Lon Ranch. I guess I there's had, Swamp uh, Archery. Crimea. I haven't yeah, done I yet. Say, I was gonna say Swamp Archery. Possibility we got all of Tingle's stuff and shenanigans. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just... I think it might be Swamp Archery otherwise, which would be okay. I can just go do it. I think um, we got everything really in Clock Town. I think what happened was because I got the bow out of logic, I just didn't route Swamp Archery at the time. Normally I do it when I have bow there. Um, but it's all right. I, I've had, so the, the worst seat I had was the one I played on like Friday or something like that. It was a 258. Um, and it had a similar kind of bottleneck. Uh, but it was with, um, Zora Mask instead. It was Zora Mask on Midnight Meeting. So are the mechanics here changed from vanilla? No, you only ha you only have no. It's how it's this is how it is in vanilla. Okay, all right. I have bank two. I haven't done. Uh, that's another thing. Um, how I don't think I'm very close to it either. I could probably just that is that was Deku Lock to the adult wallet. And this seat, unfortunately, I had a lot of silly money stuff happen. So I probably should just go and quickly get Bank 2 now before I do Swamp Arch. Just because Swamp Arch is like... Yeah, see, I don't have much money. I really need to get money, so... So we're gonna go well, to Milk Road here. those bushes by Swamp Archery. It's like, I, I, I could, but that's... You just has all of that there for anybody who can't afford it. I could, but that is slower than what I'm about to go do here. Ooh. Because I have uh, ice arrows. I may be learning some new lore here. So there's this uh, lovely bird out here. And he takes a lot more damage from elemental arrows. And he drops 200 bucks every time you kill him. So with this, I only have to kill him, like... Three times? I may not have to kill him three times. I may just be able to get just some red rupees uh, after the second time. Uh, this thing has a lot of health. There we go. And the biggest rupee in the game. You'll see it for a split second. Boom, there it is. Yep. The coveted orange rupee, it's so big. That's a unique asset for specifically killing that thing and that thing only, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just like the, the one in on Skull Kid in uh Lost Woods and OOT. Yeah. And that one is is a bit jankier looking because <laughs> of the <laughs> Skull Kid enemies. Like they are very uh teleporty. So I did get the gold dust, and I did turn it in already, but it doesn't make sense to go get the gold dust again to sell it for 200, because it's just much slower than doing this. But yeah, I did I did do that. Uh, I peeked the, uh, the item from that that was going to give me. It was going to be a Snowhead small key, which I don't need because Snowhead is vanilla, and we, um, we have, we were told by Tattle that I don't need to get the remain from uh, Snowhead or whatever, the Snowhead Great Fairy. I just 
one more time. I think. Yeah. So if it's not this, it's just because, I guess because Deku was locking the bow and then that would put Swamp Archery in as the, the thing for progression. But we'll see, this was also behind Deku. And I just, I had a lot of weird money stuff going on using kegs and whatnot. So, that's really, that, that's the risk you take when you do keg use keg on explosives is your bank just doesn't get the money. There it is! All right. Okay, so now I go to Road to Akana. So that was not a last location. I had Swamp Archery still. Close. This is the last Very location, close. Spirit. <laughs> Very close, but we take those. So now, let's see if this Road to Akana chest is uh, the notebook or not. Um, and we also know that Uninverted Stone Tower Temple is a thing right now. And so I'm thinking we're probably going to go up there with this. Zora might be up there. All right, all coming together. Let's Here go. we go. Let the fun begin. All right, we have the perfect route here too. The perfect timing. Uh, Gorman, Toto, and Madame Aroma here all have a nice tea time meeting. Uh, you can get. Uh, so this is the first demonstration. I'm talking to Postman here. I got a heart piece. He's gonna come flying in here. Okay, so I'm gonna let Gorman uh, start talking to uh, the the fans here. Their their lovely tea time. Um, and I'm gonna get three items from this. Gorman is normally a pain in the butt to uh, route with this. Nice pendant that I don't need. And one of them happened to be a regular ribbon, like French vanilla ribbon. Very funny. So we do know there's a fairy in Stockpot Inn, so we do need to talk to Grandma here and Anju again. So again, all this is just like rerouting everything that I did in Cycle 1, essentially. Uh, this can be interesting depending on how, like, where you are in your cycle. But since I happen to get it right at the start of my cycle, uh, it works out really nicely. There's the Woodfall Fairy in here. Okay, we finally have one on the board for, uh, the Woodfall Fairy. <laughs> I can also find out where the Great Bay Temple, the last two Great Bay Temple Fairies are, and I probably will want to do that, um, before too much longer with my hookshot. Still no Zora Mask, though. We may not end up getting it at all. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we actually well, do need it, though, because I have well, the Pirate's Fortress interior. You know, for, the, for the final boss. Oh, yeah. What about FD? That's a good That's yeah. a good point. Who, who cares about Zora Mask when you have that? Okay, so four, five, one, two, three. And now Jim will recognize me as a member. 
<laughs> You're pretty cool. Magic beans. Okay. Um, all right. So now I want to go buy a powder keg again. Because I need to go talk to Romani, Kribia, and the Grog in Romani <laughs> Ranch. Because there is a fairy in Romani Ranch as well. A lot of kegs today are being used up. And then I'm gonna have to make it night one, and while it's night one, I could just go up to probably uh, Stone Tower Temple at that point. Now, the, the thing on my mind right now, of course, is everybody's favorite location, the bottom of the well. Mm-hmm. We do have the Gibdos mask, Revan. We do. How much do you want to avoid that place? Uh, right now, because I have this Elegy Way of the Hero from Deku Palace, it's most likely that Zora is up in Stone Tower Temple. Uh-oh. Well, that's fine. That'll still blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know so, you could get a bomb up there. Yeah. Yep, that is uh, solid. I'm learning so much about Majora's Mask. Like, for, first of all, people tell me that the Goron Elder gets closer and closer to Goron Village every day. The cow gets further and further away from the shore, depending on mm -hmm. the day. You can, mm -hmm. There's a collision with the powder keg on top of the walls. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. I still learn things about MM while I do these, these randomizers sometimes. I, I can't remember what the most recent one was, but... Oh, wait, 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 Kremia. Kremia's over here. Hold on. She's right over here, tending to the cow. Okay, so I don't want to actually... No! Well, I don't want to actually engage in the song. I just want to get... The if I have to do the song check again, it's fine, whatever. Okay, she gave me a sword! Look at that! Hey. That's nice. Alright, now I just gotta talk to Grog here. <laughs> Apparently Deku bubbles can detonate kegs. I did not know that. Okay, so, so the fairy... Okay, so the fairy here is uh, locked behind Bremen Mask. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go find out about where the remaining Great Bay Fairies are. And then... Especially because we have this gilded chest over here. And then I think I'm just heading straight to Stone Tower Temple after that. Zora, ooh, there is also, okay, you know what? I just realized another thing here that maybe, that would suck if it's actually Ocean Spire House chest right now. Uh, this would be another bad check if I left it behind at this point. I do definitely want to go up to Stone Tower Temple, though. The problem right now is that I don't have any small keys. Um, we do have storms, though. We could actually have a Pamela Seed for that. So this would also be Captain's Hat Way of the Hero as well. Okay. Because you normally need to talk to the stall children here to find out the the order in which these are supposed to be shot in. Oh, this is the same order every time. I can imagine how awful this would be if it was randomized. Oh, it's it's random on safe out uh, com uh, making or whatever. Like it's a vanilla thing. Cool. I just completely uh, guessed that last one. Cool. Okay. 
Nothing here. All right. Now I'm going to go get that gilded chest. God. Uh, we are killing time for... We are killing time for uh, talking to Kamaro at midnight. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to try and zoom over to Stone Tower Temple pretty soon here. Oh yeah, you can also, if you don't for some reason have the ability to meet uh, the Anju's grandmother in Stockpot Inn, you can actually meet her in the ranch. Uh, that's a new thing that I learned. Uh, wait, I don't know why I checked this. Uh, oh yeah, when a new the citizens thing... flee on the final day. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately for them, the, the, the ranch isn't quite far enough away. Yeah. But I'm sure they thought it was a good idea. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, game. Guess I could have done the peak for this. Oh, well. Let me see. Oh, it is a small gilded. Oh, right. This is Stone Tower Temple. <laughs> okay, right, 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 right. So I can get small keys from here. It doesn't have to be in Akana Canyon. Right, 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 right. Because inverted is here. Okay. Yeah, so we have a small key now. That was that was all part of the plan. We have a yes, small key was. for uninverted now. Not unusual so, whatsoever. Yep, not uh, completely intended. I, I knew I was going to come here and look for a Stone Tower Temple small key. Because I was going to go to Stone Tower Temple. Because, so we we know for sure now that the Great Bay Temple entrance is inverted Stone Tower Temple. So, even though we have inverted down here, the dungeon at uninverted is, is always vanilla. So it's always going to be the not flipped dungeon. All right. What do we got here? Two are trapped in Stone Tower Temple. All right. Cool. Uh, fairies. Two in STT. All right. So we have that info now. I'll go and peek this chest down here, and then we'll go to Stone Tower Temple. ASAP. Now, does that distinguish between inverted and regular? Uh, so, so inverted is the one that's that's shuffled to one of the other entrances. Yeah, but it's like um, the, the hence said stone tower temple. So does it does oh, that encompass yeah, it, both inverted it, and? It encompasses both of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I could still need like light arrows for inverted or something. Um, but at this point, uh, I think the progression is in uninverted since I don't have Zora and I don't have lights anyway. I have this mirror shield. So we're gonna go and uh, head up there. Fun stuff. You also get to see uh, the thing everybody probably wishes they knew how to do when they played through this game the first time, but kind of using some uh, some little clever tricks, like not glitches, just using the mechanics of the game to get up Stone Tower Temple surprisingly fast. Yes, yes. Uh, this is actually nice to show this because there was a chance that I wouldn't have been able to do this um, if we had in inverted Stone Tower Temple uh, junked or whatever. But in this case, we don't. So uh, you get to see me climb the Stone Tower the fast way. And uh, before we go up, we do have a another nice little chat with Shiro here to do. Because we got that notebook. Yes. <laughs> Just get this set up correctly. What do you got, Shiro? Uh, just a just a art piece or container. I I skip through it. <laughs> Why are so few masks tracked? Because if the tracker had every mask that was like basically a one-off check, 
it would be too huge. Um, the tracker only tracks the stuff that's relevant to uh, beating the dungeons and stuff like that. Like, some of the masks may not be needed, exactly. Let's just double check this. Oh, Canyon is foolish! Wow, hey. thank you so much! That's the, does that <laughs> include Secret Shrine? Uh, no. That does not. <laughs> but it at least means I uh, don't have to check any of this like I was afraid of I was going to have to do. All right. so I didn't know Hookshot went through the Octorok popcorn. Interesting. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's very nice. I know it's supposed to be okay. rocks, but for, for me, it's always been popcorn. Okay, I need to be a little bit closer. Uh, so this is a, uh, a little neat little trick you can do as well on your way up. Uh, this is totally also just in-game mechanics, just getting close enough to grab the tree there instead of ice arrowing my way up. Um, saves a little bit of time, especially because the Octoroks, when you ice arrow them, they can be uh, a little rude. I love how many like happy accidents happen in these games where... Like, something is, like, a pixel close enough to work. Like, things like the pixel shot in the uh, Fire Temple and OOT, hook shot mm -hmm. in that tree, yep. the, like, door of time skip works, and all this other stuff. It's like, everything is, it's like off by one pixel, one digit, and that's all it takes for it to be possible. Yeah. There's so many happy accidents. Uh, so yeah, you're about to see what Fant was talking about here. Uh, basically, I only end up playing Elegy like maybe three or four times, as opposed to like nine or whatever the number is. I feel like it's like 15 if you go by all the switches. Yeah. And it's just something the developers overlooked that the player could do. Um... So you're going to see me just put Link the Link statue there uh, to move that block, but then I'm just going to like walk over that switch over here. Wait, you could hookshot a Beemos? What? No, yep. Writing that down. Writing that down. <laughs> Saves a little bit of time for instead of aiming at the, the target. Uh, so I moved that block by just stepping on the other switch, and I didn't have to play Elegy there. That lets me skip that, because what we want to do is we want to play Elegy on the block, and that gets rid of the, the the statue I placed on that switch down there and causes this block to then move and right while I'm riding on it. And it's it's beautiful. And just like that, we're up here. Yeah. Boom. Now, before I do go in here, there is a certain ghost man in Terminal Field I need to talk to. Um, favorite. We already healed his soul, but we got to talk to him now. We got to see. We got to see how he's doing. You know, one of the strangest he, he's very lonely. NPCs in, in the entire series, <laughs> which is filled yeah, with strange NPCs. It, yeah, <laughs> like he's just out there wearing practically nothing, dancing on top of an ice mushroom. It's like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. why not? He's big chilling over here. Literally, it's cold. Okay, he just had a heart piece. We just took another soul from him, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, now His we're going back up belly. to Stone Tower. Oh god, there's so much about this guy. Yeah, there is. And, and, and the weird mask you get from him. That's like yep. his face on your face. Yep. Like, uh, yep. I can do one more thing. Rather than playing Elegy three times, you play it once to move the first block, and then you go on the block, play it again, and it just takes you back. Yep. You're, you're calling the tram, and it's going to leave in two seconds, and there you go. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, Link travels with the block, and it doesn't just, like... Yeah, it doesn't just fall into the yeet him off the the level exactly. <laughs> into the into the depths below. Are you hearing Pokemon music in the Zelda game? Yes. 
And you're also hearing Zelda 2 music right now. Double magic? Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh my god, um, I love how it's just floating. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when it's the fairies are all shuffled yeah. about. They're floating. Great. Yeah, I, I, I love that ever since it became a thing, which was a long time ago, but it's it's definitely very amazing to see. Okay, that's a small gilded. Pay attention to that. So I might have to get that. That might be one of the fairies. So I have to go the intended way here because I don't have uh, light arrows to shortcut anything right now. Oh, I need the actual... Oh, I need to get the other crate. That's right. Uh, because I don't have Zora. Okay, so he will not destroy this crate because I'm moving. As long as you're moving, he won't blow the crate up. Okay, that was a little slow, but it's fine. Now, I guess the worst thing that could happen is, like, Zora is actually at, like, Coast Ledge right now. Great Bay Coast Ledge. That would be kind of bad. Because uh, I don't have that many checks left in here without Zora. I'm trying to think of... I guess there could also be... Oh yeah, there's also Curiosity Shop Man to talk to in West Clock Town. He might have Zora if, if uh, this small key is not going to give me anything. Yeah, this is a, this seed is shaping up to be pretty rude. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Uh, that's a brown boy. All right. I guess I'm just leaving again. That sucks. Okay. Um, I do have the well. If I had to do forward well, that would be so bad. Yeah, you got the right, well, let's... you got secret shrine. So many well, great options, Revan. If I had light arrows, I'd have shrine, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 you need light arrows for it. Oh yeah, I also gotta talk to Guru Guru again, because I haven't done that yet. Or Rosa Sisters, actually. Hey, okay. This is fine. Uh, is she in here right now? No, okay, it's, she's on day two. She's gonna have the fairy I mentioned earlier. Uh, so I'm gonna talk to Curiosity Shop guy here. Ah, okay, there is our fairy for Romani Ranch. Okay. Oh, the lemon. Yep, we get to see the, the radar with the lemons. The hot new 1.16 feature. Yes, exactly. If this is Zora Mask, that would be really funny. Nope. Dang. That would have been really funny if it was. Okay. Uh, so I gotta talk to Bomb Grandma, and then... Who do I have left as far as a social light goes in this seed right now? Um... Hmm. Do you have to talk to Kafe again? Uh, I don't because we got the always hint. Okay. Uh, and he, that that uh, was just a heart container, thankfully. Thankfully, I remembered Rosa Sisters. Oh, I had toilet hand! Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. 
I'll reroute that. It's gonna be annoying. Okay, there's the fairy. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, I need to make it. Oh wait. Yeah, no, that's fine because I can do lemons. So that'll give me a th a third fairy. We're getting there. I guess I could I could do swamp archery here as well. In order to make up for the lack of getting toilet hand. Okay. Um yeah. Right, we do have one in Pinnacle Rock. God, it makes you think the Zora Mask should should have been early at this point. Could be Swamp Archery. Yeah, it's probably Swamp Archery. It's either Swamp Archery or Coast Ledge. Unless there is someone I'm forgetting to talk to. I mean, I do have Toilet Hand as well, but... That I am in the process of uh, routing here. Okay, so see the little dots on the map? That's where the lemons are. That's a 1.16 change. So it helps. Are there any lemon emotes out there? I'm sure someone's got just, just, just a plain old lemon, like a literal fruit. This is another thing where there's like, there's no explanation for what goes on here. You're, you're just marching with the mask. The the lemons love you, and then they spontaneously combust into a big chicken. It's like... Yeah. And then the game's like, yeah, congratulations, here's your reward. Just, I didn't leave. There's no explanation. Just gone. How it goes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need one. It's, the game's weird. They literally mm, that... are just lemons. Oh, wait. Oh, is this... Oh, no. Did I... Wait. Oh, I should have inverted. Should have inverted? Oh, my God. Oh, gee. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe the change would, would, would allow me to get it. But no. All right. It's fine. It's fine. All right, well, we'll get I'll make it up. One more time. Yeah, we get to do it one more time. I'll do it on day three. It's fine. We're not gonna it's ask fine. how the, the cuckoo went turned back into a lemon. No, nope, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. That didn't just happen. Yeah, I hadn't actually tried to do that with the with the radar. I thought maybe it would work. Okay, yeah, that's a compass. Yep. Yeah, it's fairly likely these things are all just keys for snowhead. This is probably a snowhead key. I will be very surprised if it's swamp title deed. Yep. Yeah, so the rest of this stuff is probably just... Just keys. Alright, well... Oh, wait! Well, yeah, that's probably just a small key. I can't imagine that that... Because we know... Where the... We found two of them, so the third one would have to be... I mean, it doesn't have to be. I guess it could be... I guess there could be an item in the Twin Islands Grotto. <laughs> Are the spider houses on? Uh, no. Please. Thankfully, this game does not require 100% accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
It's pretty lean. This this mini game is pretty lenient, in in my opinion. It's just it's just pattern recognition. You just gotta memorize the patterns. Alright. I put this off way too long. I normally don't, but my mind was elsewhere when I got the bow and then when I got Deku and Goron. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go buy a blue potion. I don't remember where I got Gibdo Mask, but... The thing that worries me is that what could be in the well is, like, a Woodfall Temple small key or whatever. Um... Or any of Woodfall Temple's dungeon items. But they could also just be behind in, like, in Secret Shrine or something, and then it's pretty much the same thing anyway. Now, do I have any sticks? I don't. Okay, so I can get some quick sticks here. It's fine. And besides, I... Need some beans, if I'm going to do this. So we'll just get that stuff here. So get the stick. So I go around void there to respawn the bushes so I can cut them since Swamp Archery isn't open right now. I'm trying to get enough money here to buy five beans since I am going to be doing forward well here. Not the mirror shield chest though, because that is not in logic right now because I don't have a bomb bag to turn in for to get the uh, big po. The do mirror shield chest. And Toilet Hand is now gettable, so I'll go and talk to him now. I really hope it's not... And if it's Co-Sledge, dude. Again. That's one of my least favorite checks. Yeah, if you have Zora Mask, you just do it. But if you don't get Zora, you don't. <laughs> Let's not forget Toilet Hand this time. Now, uh, we already routed turning in the paper to him. It's really just talking to him we have to do here. This would have been fine if I remembered when I still had the time of day, but... I just, my brain just briefly blipped on it, as it, it as happens. it sometimes can do. There it is! There it is! The yeah, the okay. Book. Yep, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay, uh, so let's go get... So we need to go get the Way of the Hero in PFI, then. Um, and we can get... So that might just be light arrows at this point, maybe? Or it could be fire arrows. Ah, uh, yeah, it might be fire arrows for Oath. That would make sense. We're in the final um, stretch. Yep. I think we can probably still get this. Uh, we do have to... We may not have to venture into Great Bay Temple at all. Although... Yeah, make sure you clean off that, that mask, though. It's probably quite dirty. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, no, we do have to go into Great Bay Temple because of the fact that, well, not the temp, not that temple, the entrance, I mean, because it's inverted stone tower temple, and the fairy, one of the fairies might be in there, but we don't have lights yet. Okay, so clear those two out. Uh, I could go back up to Stone Tower Temple right now, but we're gonna go ahead and go to Pirate's Fortress Interior, because that is my last wave of the hero not fulfilled at this point. Um, I'm amazed and I how might just... stingy the game is on these fairies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're buried! I mean, I've got two in Stone Tower Temple, and then I have one in Pinnacle Rock I have to go get, and then I've got the one on, uh, on Ranch, and on Bremen. The lemons. Um, so we basically need light arrows. Well, we might not need light arrows. This might just be fire arrows. You just get mirror. Sh you just use mirror shield to go get um, the last stone tower stray fairies. Um, it's a little bit risky. I'm not I'm not going to skip these, but I might actually skip sewers here. Yeah, there's three in Stone Tower Temple. I, I have my notes. The goal is for me to get five fairies for uh, Georg's remains and Goat's remains. Uh, not go well, and Goat's remains, because Goat's remains are actually at the Woodfall Fairy Fountain in this seed. Um... I know that looks a little confusing on my tracker, but it's because the remains shuffle among themselves on the fairy fountains. So, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of hoping maybe this is just light arrows. The problem with that is, 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 is Ikata Castle Foolish Except Song. Um, that would be the problem with that. Which you do need the fire arrows for. Yes, I do. <laughs> Well, I guess the good news is we are we are kind of running out of places where this stuff could be. Hey, it's another Stone Tower Temple small key. Well, that's good actually. Oh man, that would be silly if it's if it's Stone Tower if it's a lost Stone Tower Temple small key. Um, there's no way. Because I had, well, that could be the only other one I have access to, but I don't. Doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, so probably not. And okay, that's nothing. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh. I just had the wrong angle. It's fine. Getting back up here takes no effort. There we go. Don't lose that much time for that. Okay. Uh, put on the stone mask. Low key the goat for this dungeon. Mm hmm. Fire arrows! Okay, that gets us Oath. Okay. So fire arrows are way the hero. Most likely for the Oath in Akana Castle. Wait, what am I doing? The risk now is... Are lights just, like, inside STT? Or do I, do I actually need light arrows is, is the thing. Because they could all just be, all three fairies could just be on the uninverted side right now. So I need to get this. I need to go do... I need to go get the fairy in Pinnacle Rock. And the fairy in Romani Ranch before I go back up to Stone Tower Temple. Hey, you can check the, the Great Bay Ledge as well. The Cape Ledge. Oh, I... Oh well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't peek the the cape like like. Um, let's see, okay, that's nothing. All right, we're gonna just go to Pinnacle Rock, get the fairy. Oh yeah, oh actually, I need to take a photo because it might be seahorses. Actually, hold on a second. Hold on the phone. 
It might not just be the chest. Okay, good picture of a pirate. All right. Can't believe you're just taking creep shots of the pirates. <laughs> I know, I know, right? Don't do don't do this for real. I always ask for permission. Mm-hmm. Not only that, we're we're giving it to this creepy fisherman. Yeah, we are. the transition here and I'm gonna have to dive in the water again it's fine <laughs> you usually try to minimize those day transitions as much as possible but didn't really line up here it's okay all right well another thing you get to see here chat is uh, going through here without actually pulling the seahorse out uh, this is this is much easier than lensless wasteland believe it or not I have a pretty tough time getting the initial alignments. Yeah, it took me a while before I was comfortable, like, just swimming through like I am right here. I usually have to get to, like, one of the signs, like, the, the long swim across and yeah. go through. Yeah, I, I, I use, like, the fish in the middle as a visual cue for, like, you got it, basically. Uh, no, this is live. Of course it's live. So I'm no, killing no, the eels. We don't eels. Really do pre-records on the on the GTQ channel. I'm killing the eels first before doing the other two the the other two checks because it just it routes better. If I if I rush the two checks, then uh, and then I have to go back up. It's it's bad. It's it's slower than if I just route the eels as I'm going through here towards the two chests. Okay, this this is a big chest. What if this is just light arrows? That'd be nice. No, it's a bomb bag! Ha 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 ha! Very funny game! Ha ha ha! Very CP's funny! On delivering. Sure does. All right, let's see if seahorses were required. Oh, they were required. Yep. Oh, I missed an eel. Okay, uh, that's all right. Uh, which eel did I miss? Was it the one at the way top? I think so. Yeah, I think I missed one at the way tippy top. Uh, I usually do that one like straight across. Let's see, no, no. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it was this one. It's all right. We still get the ferry. Oh, oh, no, you... <laughs> what are you doing, Zora? Talk to the, the seahorses. There we go. 13. 
All right. Oh. So now I'm going to, AKA three fairies. Now I'm going to get the other one over here. And then we just go to Stone Tower Temple and hope and pray that the fairies are just, just mirror shield locked and not <laughs> light arrow locked. Uh, but with the, yeah, I'm still, I'm a little, you know, that's why I feel like maybe I should go into Great Bay Temple because that might be where lights are. Because that's the only way the Sonata Captain's Hat would get met. Like the Sonata there. Well, now we get Lemons Round 2. Yeah, Lemons Round 2. Which at this point has to be one of our fairies. Yes. Because I have nothing else here. So you get a round two of this, everybody. Due to my mistake. Thinking that the radar would help that much and make it fast enough. Without time inverted. Yeah, I, I didn't invert time the first time thinking that I had enough time with the radar, but no, I actually did not. They, they were still kind of rude in their placement. What a strange video game. <laughs> <laughs> Something something tells me I do need to go into Great Bay Temple, but we'll find out for sure. We'll find out for sure in a moment. Okay. Wait, that wasn't the fairy. What? Really? What? What did I overlook? We got a hint that there was a fairy here? I did. It said Romani Ranch. We didn't already do Oh, it. you know what? Oh, uh, maybe. Hmm. Is there a ribbon? Let me. I don't think I missed a ribbon. I got Kremia and Romani here and Grog. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, let me double check over here. Did he already get it? I need to double check this. Did I misread the... No, I wouldn't have missed... No, Ranch Defense did not say there was a Great Bay or, yeah, a Woodfall Fairy over there. Hmm. I'm gonna just double check real fast, because Granny did... Anju's Grandma did have a fairy. Yes, it did. Okay, it's... Oh, yeah, 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 the letter to Mama. That's the one I'm missing. That's the one I'm missing. I have to turn into Postman's Freedom. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I forgot. Okay, it's fine. We're on final day. Uh, it's fine. We can turn in now, and I'll get my my fourth fairy. So the, the reason why that mattered is because it said Romani Ranch is because of, of Grandma. Anji's Grandma being there on day three. Um... But I already got that from uh, from uh, Stockpot in because I talked to her there, and it lists both locations, so that's why that happened. So, how many fairies are there for each of these dungeons in the game? Uh, there's 15, but because we start with 10 of them for each, there's actually only just five I need to get. Okay. Yeah. So there's only five out in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And like like I said, all the seeds that I played had been very easily sub-3. Like, like two of them or three of them had already finished by now. 
Uh, but the way this scene played out, uh, yeah, I didn't get... The big thing was I didn't I didn't peak cafe at the start, and that would have changed everything dramatically if I had, I think. Um, but because I messed up the straw roof jump, because of course I did, I, I missed him. So I, I had to forego that. I could have reset time and maybe rectified that, but it was too late. So we're kind of just... I have a feeling that I do need the light arrows, and they are actually in Great Bay Temple, and that's why, like, Captain's Hat Way of the Hero leads to Sonata. Uh, there was the Blast Mask there, which did lock, um, some stuff. Like, it locked, well, it locked the Captain's Hat, so that, very likely that is where this is going. And I probably should be going to Great Bay Temple and trying to get lights, but there's so many checks in there. Uh, and I want to see if I can get just the fairies in here or not. Uh, since we are running low on time. Um. And I already had this, like, half open. And I'm already going to be spending two of the keys. There is a chance that the... The, um... There is a chance that the... Oh my gosh. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, jeez. There's a chance that I could just long jump over in, in the in, in inverted stone tower temple and not actually need the, um, the light arrows to maybe get that chest on uh, the... in the maze there. Okay, this could be... This could be one of them, actually, because this would be light arrow locked. Let's see if this holds true. So we're gonna we're gonna do a ground jump. This is something you don't really see that often. Yeah. Ground jump as Zora to uh, to get this. I don't think I've ever done this. Nope, just a notebook ribbon. Now we're gonna. Do the same thing on this side. Oh, whoops. I, is that still gonna... I don't think it's gonna count. No. Okay. I just... I keep messing up the input orders here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I kept messing up the order of the inputs. Alright. So how do these mirrors work? Is it literally the time that the beer shield is on it? Does it cap? Does it, if you like hold it there for 10 minutes, will it shine for 10 minutes, you know? All right, there's one fairy. Um, it is time-based, like dependent on, on how long you're, you're holding the mirror shield on the mirror. I don't know if there's a cap. Um, I've never tried. I've, I haven't even asked like anyone if there's a cap on it or not. <laughs> I've definitely held it for, like, a solid three minutes before, though, and it has lasted a very long time. <laughs> so... This is the room where I need to do it, because... <laughs> yeah, well, it's, what I'm doing here... Awful. What I'm doing here with the platform there is is the way to do this room, uh, if you don't have Stone Mask, which I do have Stone Mask, but it's faster to do what I was doing there. So you basically just knock it down to where there's only one platform here with Goron, and then you sit up here... And you point at the mirror for as long as you like here. Um, and then you have enough time to charge the other mirror before those enemies hit you again. And you don't get interrupted while you're doing this here because they can't get you. Uh, and this is another one of those like handy things that you learn playing rando. Um, okay, that you learn playing rando that makes this room not as bad. There we go. With the mirror shield. Yeah, this this room is awful. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. Let me just make sure my fairy count is correct. Yeah, okay, we're just one away from uh, Great Bay Temple. Wait, let me check this over here. Okay, that's nothing. Yeah. 
Okay, could this be another one? No! Okay. Oh, I don't have mirror. What am I doing? Or I don't have lights. Okay, so we've got just Garo Master left. Man, I would have to hope that light arrows would be very early in Great Bay Temple. Fingers crossed. Okay. Yeah. And I'll have to probably invert pretty soon for that. These fairies are just being so dang stubborn. Mm-hmm. So, with our remaining hits, so we know the Great Bay one's in here. And where is the last one for the other one? Uh, so there's one in East Clocktown on um, the Postman. Okay. Uh, from trading the letter to Mama to him. We're so close. Oh yeah, also probably one thing I should point out while I'm in this room, uh, because we have boss entrance rando on, uh, the door in this room updates to the uh, the door in the boss room, as it's a flipped, the, the dungeon is flipped and everything. So you can actually peek what boss is at inverted stone tower temple from this room. Okay, there's the, okay! Alright, so see that's, that means it's Georg uh, at inverted stone tower temple. Because the boss door is textured like uh, it is in, uh, in uh, from for Georg's oh, so boss cool. room. Yeah, I already like messed up killing this guy. So we're basically okay. done here in uh, in Stone Tower. Yeah, we've got just these two checks left. I'm gonna invert. Um, I I really kind. I hope this is the other Great Bay. I, I hope the other Great Bay Temple Fairy is not locked behind lights. Okay, that's the bunny hood. We don't need that. Oh no. Not at this point. There is a third fairy in Stone Tower Temple, yeah. Um. I wonder why this guy was programmed to be weak to bombs. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he's he's weak to bombs and then regular arrows as well. Uh, regular arrows do it takes like four of them to kill him in comparison, uh, and then obviously light arrows also take like two for him, uh, like the bombs. All right, let's see if this is anything. This is on the other side. Okay, that's a big boy, but that's not going to be light arrows. Alright, I'll go get the Woodfall Fairy on... Oh! Oh, no! What? What happened? It just happened? crashed. It oh, just no. crashed on me. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if that was caused by me or not. That sucks. Heckin' N64. <laughs> I don't know if that was me. I, I just moved my foot a little bit. I don't know if that actually caused it or not. Uh, cause... I don't know. Yeah, yep. so is this, re is this recoverable? Um, okay, we, no. It's a, we have an actual crash! Uh, that's a crash! <laughs> That is an actual crash, not by N64. Okay. So <laughs> we can't recover from it, because I song a timed last <sighs> uh, cycle. It would take me like 15, probably like 10, 10, 15 minutes to get back to here. Oh my goodness. Do we have a spoiler log that we can look at? Uh, yeah, we have a log. We have right, a log. Let's go, yeah. let's go open up the log, since the rando had other plans for us today. Yeah. <laughs> That sucks. Wow. Hey, I mean, that's what happens with this stuff. 
Uh, let me just everybody. go through so Zoe can see this later. <laughs> oh, it's RCP related. Oh, so it's audio related again. Cool. Oh Great. my god. <laughs> Great. So it, it might be the song or something happened. I don't know. Could be. All right. Well, th this was a beta test after all. This is not how I expected the seeds yeah. end. No, but here neither we did I. <laughs> Here we are. We basically had... Okay, we would have had the Woodfall Fairy. We were just one Great Bay Temple Fairy from being done. Um, so, let's find out where that was in Stone Tower Temple. Did I need light arrows? I probably did. Um, Let's see. Yep, it was Death Armos Maze Chest, the one I was going to long jump to. I was literally going to long jump to it. That was, like, the next one you are gonna do, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> go there and get it without lights. I was gonna do Lit that. Literal, literal minutes away. Un yeah. Unfortunate. Un yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. Well, yeah. Revan. And we would have we would have then finished, because I would have gotten Oath from Akana Castle. Yep, yep. You, you, you had it. We had it. We Where had were it. the light? Uh, actually, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, the light arrows uh, are logically required. Let's just mm -hmm. see. Uh, how deep? Okay, yup. They were on... They were in Great Bay Temple on the Biobaba's chest, where you kill all the Biobabas. Oh, that's not, that's not too deep in Great Bay. Yeah, it's not too deep. But, uh, yeah, I had a feeling... Uh, all right, well, that... This was gonna happen. Well, not this, but the, uh, light arrows in GBT. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never seen this before. This is great. Um, yeah. Well, Revan, thank you so much for... Showing off ninety nine percent of yeah, I mean yeah. to one point one six e yeah and yeah everybody everybody be sure to go give Revan ninety one a follow here there is a shout out going on in the G G chat right now Revan I want you to uh, just give us a you know quick sixty seconds where can we find you what can we find on your stream uh, you can find me on my stream Revan ninety one. Uh, I'm also on Twitter with Revan, but it's like an extra V. It's like three Vs or whatever. Um, and uh, I stream... I stream MMR not as much lately, but I do stream it. I stream uh, Combo Rando, OOTMM. Um, I stream DK64 Rando. I do a lot of rando randomizer stuff, because that's just what I'm addicted to. Uh, kind of, sort of. So, I uh, can't think of anything else I do... Uh, or where else you can find me. I do have a YouTube channel, but that that you can also find on my Twitch. Um, and yeah, we would we would have finished. We would have finished. It's just <laughs> unbelievable, dude. I, if I, the funny thing is, I think this wouldn't have like, happened. This wouldn't have happened if I just <laughs> avoided this check. I think I would have been fine, like leaving Stone Tower Temple, and we no, could have just no way you know, we could have known. Absolutely no, no, because no, every other seed that I played before this was fine. I didn't run into this at all. So, yeah. It awesome. sucks. Well, thank you so, so much for showing this off. Unfortunately, we, we ran to the state, but things are going to happen. This is a live show. Mm -hmm. Not everything's going to go perfectly. This is totally something yeah. that's never happened before, ever. Nope. No, I mean, it's a classic GDQ thing, right? This has never <laughs> happened before. This didn't this happen in the six seeds I played before this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks again. I hope you all enjoyed the seed and this freeze frame we've got at the very end. But after the break, Time Capsule is coming up, brought to you by Smooth Operative, going over Banjo-Tooie. So be sure to stick around. Lots of hot picks to come. See you all next time. <laughs>